All right, I'm trying to look at it, man. There's some of y'all done broke the off the sick and shut in record lately. Goodness. There's some folks, ain't you to see y'all about no three, four, five services back to back. Y'all sure must have been praying, ain't it? Like they said, somebody prayed for me, ain't it? That's all right. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, that's right. We get, had to get the Zamar crump back up, I guess, 30 minutes before I come there. They say, you know, I need to get in there early. Now they got to get well. Hurry, get well. We got to get there for the Zamar, ain't that right? That's all right. We appreciate the most high Yahuwah for all he done, allowed us to be here. Didn't have to do it. But da 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 Again. Yeah. All right? There we are. We're going to let them get ready to sign the Kato Sarah. Appreciate it. So I told them they start playing, they could put YouTube up. So there might be some people uh, <clears throat> who might have requests. They listen. So we want to give them an opportunity. Some of them might have requests out there they can see. And um, let them see other people out there. The rest of them don't press to get him. Then some other people can see. They can see somebody out there watching. Somebody supporting at all times. Isn't that right? Whatever we don't do, somebody else will do. You know, it's a much a part of what we do as anything else, you know. In the book of uh, uh, Colossians, he told you, speaking to yourself, uh, Shireen and, and Ruachna Shireen, making melody in your law to Yahuwah. That part of people said, well, they just perform. They say, and I come in late. Like, Christian church, the teacher, when they were saying, that was your time to go to the bathroom, you can go take a break, it's gone. But that book, Tahalim, that's a whole book. So when he was doing that one, when Dawood was doing that, people should have been leaving and going out somewhere. They said, well, that's our time now. He's just shearing to Yahuwah. So that's our time. That's our break. <clears throat> when it come down to it, you know, I was thinking about when I wrote in, how important it is, you know, to kind of set your mind. You know, you really have to, you really have to set your mind to set your law. You know, the law, mind, law, also for the heart, for people to even use the same thing. Spell it like lab, L-A-B, pronounced lob. Uh, <clears throat> I appreciate Mr. Yahuwah um, for giving that mindset to consider because a lot of people don't. They ain't always had the mind to do that. A lot of things you take for granted. Like I said, church was a thing where you were spiritual for church. Saturday night, you start maybe kind of getting spiritual, you know, look at Sunday church. Start setting yourself toward, quote, quote, unquote, the Lord. I appreciate Yahuwah for giving the mindset to say, keep your mind now. Isn't that right? <clears throat> I used to hear a man say years ago to my folk, ask when you ready. He said, I've been ready. He said, folk getting ready ain't ready. He said, I've been ready. They come down, old folk had their own way of saying stuff. Don't folk ask you ready. He said, I've been re getting ready. No, I've been ready. Isn't that right? So I appreciate Mr. Hua for that. We're going to get ready to let him sign a Kato Sarah. <clears throat> Appreciate opportunity to be able to uh, come in and hear. Somebody ain't here. Well, ain't talking about in that building. Somebody ain't on that planet no more. <clears throat> well, I'm saying among the living, as they call the Kai. So I appreciate Mr. Hood for keeping me one more again. Yes, <clears throat> and always palowing that it ain't for uh, for my fall. That's for anybody. Because you can keep a person around. You know, they have bosses. They'll set you up. Don't want to knock you out. They send you up for the big kill. I was the one going to knock him out. He said, no, I'm not knock this joker. He ain't getting back up. I'm just feeding him for the kill. Isn't that right? Just like they be feeding, like feeding you up, like feeding you up for the fatty calf so he can slaughter you later. <clears throat> so um, definitely I want to make sure that um, our running ain't in vain. You know, it'd be a terrible uh, situation to go through and put the time in. And you know where you, what you, you should have been. <clears throat> you know you could have performed better. Yet you didn't. You stayed at just a minimum, or it, it required the scant measure where they said, which your barely sufficient. And then it come back later, he grades you insufficient. I can't even take you with me. So I appreciate that uh, opportunity that uh, he gives us to get it right. What happened, Justin? I see you smiling. What's something happened? Keep my eyes on. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it, <clears throat> definitely for all of us, I don't think nobody want to go through this and not make it. 
I don't think that's our intent. I think sometimes, you know, you kind of get a level set over time that might tell us, okay, it's okay. You really ain't got to <clears throat> go that hard. You really don't have to push as much as it is. He knows you got a family. He knows you have a life outside of this, and that's true. But if we live the way it was structured for us to do, you think with Adam, he had a whole life too, but it all existed inside the gun. Everything he did existed inside the gun. It did. Everything he had existed. We're keeping all of the rituals, the rites that Elohim had prescribed for him. He still had to live a life right now, which means when could he ever get out of character? When could he take a break off from it? You know, this is your life. This is our life, and that's, that's what we want to try to get to understanding. And that's a struggle. Make no mistake, it's a struggle because <clears throat> we're, we're what they call human beings, you know. He calls being in the basar, you know, being in this, you know, this, having this creature. This creature has habits. This creature got uh, other mindsets. This, this creature got his own ideology. And then you got the disciplines that he set that he doesn't make you do. It's only look like, you know, to me, it look like you're only made to do it is when you get outside of it. You know what I'm saying? By crippling you somewhere else, by putting you in a, you know, uh, uh, putting you in a, a real tragic inconvenience of some type. Then you start to sit back and consider something wrong. I need to try to start looking my life back up. It don't, it don't, it take trouble to get us to that point. Good times, though, nobody, I don't, I don't think anybody looked to say, you know what, my life is so well and so great and so prosperous, I need to just start living right and serve you. I don't, I don't think that's one of the things that people do. Adam had, I don't think nobody had it better than Adam, not from the beginning, from Barashit, do you? I mean, he didn't come out struggling, he didn't come out hard pressed, he didn't come out, I mean, let me say this, the writing doesn't give us that. He had to deal with, you know, man, they got all this stuff on TV, folks on him butt naked, then he looking out, oh, and I'm butt naked. So this, this wasn't some of his um, argument, you know, other women antagonizing or other men trying to induce him over the homosexuality. You know, so just all the different, he had to deal with the storms, he had to deal with the rains. It's just a lot of things he didn't have to deal with. We don't have writings of it. And <clears throat> with him being in a place that Elohim had, prepared for him, it only makes sense that he prepared it where everything would be conducive for life. It would be conducive to everything you need him. He had to go outside of it. It came down to creating him a uh, uh, Isha, a woman, a wife. He was able to take from him right down. You know what I'm saying? It set him on. He had to go outside looking. He had to go to the gate and peep his head out and see if somebody out there, some couple of women laying around out there, maybe, you know, looking for, you know, nice black man with no clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, looking at, hey, <laughs> for a naked man. Now they, now they're doing it. But you know, for him, you know, they weren't looking for that. So you can, you figure even with all of that. And you know, sometimes we'll look at. If I can just get off around people that own drugs. If I can get around, get off around, get away from other people smoking drugs. Or if I can get away from other people in gangs, I could do better. I don't even have any of those influences. Still, he fell. So for me, just sitting here thinking, it, it tells me that there is something about man that causes man to just go after other things or desire things that he's been told not to do. That is, you said, you think about eating with people. You ever seen them skateboarder people go out in the pool and come back out of that thing and jump it? What, what in your mind told you to go down in a hole and make you think you're going to come back up and grab that thing and turn around and go back down there again? It's just, you know, somebody, and I'm sure somebody said, that's dangerous. And they looked and said, you know what, I, I'm going to try it. You know, even with a motorcycle, what made you, what told you in your mind to run up a ramp and see how far you can go and you could jump over someone? What if you don't land on that bank tire? You could kill yourself. And somebody said, yeah, I'm going to try it. I believe I could do it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I guess it kind of shows where man just has this thing about him. If you tell him it's something he can't do, he going to try it. He going to try it. He going to go. And, that's, and that seems to be the issue, I think, with us. It's kind of innately, kind of just in us. That, you know, I'm saying of the flesh. I don't believe it's of the rule. I think it's of the flesh. That we have that mindset to go after things that he told us not to. And so getting us back into a discipline of being able to see these things in your flesh calls for all these different behaviors and types and ideas. Yet you have to restrict yourself down. You know what I'm saying? Because of a, a mind that they'll call a belief and a fear combined with the yara. It ain't just a belief. It's got to be with a fear. It has to be with a fear. No fear has become a phobia or what they would kind of call, I guess, a taboo of realizing to go out and do that would be detrimental, be deaf to us. 
I think if we were to start um, equating everything to that aspect when it's wrong, it all leads to death. And you got to fear death and you got to love life. It's got to be, it's got to be on both hands. In order to, to uh, um, you got to love life and say a hobbit to a where you want to continue in it. And the only way to do it is not to commit kata. Now, kata has already been uh, imputed, accounted to man on the first rim. That's why we got a moot. Now we're looking at on the second end. So on the final finale, now you're looking at being great on the final. You already been great on the first one. You're a sinner. Everyone, we was already great. We was a sinner. Made no mistake. We already graded. You know how to tell you, you get ready to take a test, don't pick up your pencil. Don't even worry about picking up. Everybody failed. So you were graded. That's why we got to die. So now we're trying to make sure we don't get into this second situation to where we come up and find out <laughs> we all fail and we're a sinner. We can't afford to be one when you come back. So when you know your worst point, then you know where you got to come back from. Got it? Hello, that's your worst point. You're a sinner. You're going to die. That's your worst point. So now we know and you keep at this rate, you're going to set yourself in a situation where you can't be redeemed. Hello? I think if we kind of start looking at how we see it and register it uh, in a way to where our mind can process it and we can process it and realize, okay, now I understand what I need to do. Sometimes when things explain to you in a way, you say, okay, I got it. Now I got it. I know what I need to do. Because if you've been failing and you continue to keep going the wrong way, then the light ain't clicked on for you. In your mind, you might think, yeah, but it had. You can say, well, I mean, I know what I need to do. I, I just need to do something's wrong with you. Honestly, you are spiritually retarded. Because if you understand that the things you're doing wrong are going to end up to your death. I'm telling you, your demise, not just your flesh to death. That's already coming. Okay? We're talking about when we come into the mosh pot. We're talking about you're going to leave for now. That's going to be it for you. That's the final verdict. That's the final session. That's it. Ain't no repentance. Ain't no, <clears throat> ain't no remorsefulness. Ain't no sorrowfulness that's going to work. Everything you're going to have to do, you got to do it right here while you're living. And you have to resist the flesh. This is facade. You're going to have to resist it on every end, every temptation. I was talking to somebody early on the phone. They bust out their head. You wasn't the word. I said, so that told me right there you ain't been listening to nothing I've been saying. I said, that's all. I just, I said, it's okay. I just show you don't pay attention. You don't listen. I said, it'll hurt you later. You try to tell people, it'll hurt you later. See, you got to just set in your mind. It don't matter what you've been doing, how long you've been doing. At the end of the day, just do the math. Do it again, you're going to die and you're going to burn. How, how adamant you going to be about doing it? Well, it just slipped. Well, that's what the book told us. Well, how we got to get a more earnest heed to the thing we heard. Listen, at any time, what happened? What is any time? When is any time? That's how I mind for y'all. I know a lot of y'all here hit too. I know a lot of you. Well, you know, but it's okay. And it ain't okay if I tell you not to do it. That's when I tell you not to do so. I told y'all before not to do it the first time. People did on their own anyway. It just kind of keep moving. Just things you want to kind of just wait and see. It takes something to be able to make them adjustment and it show where you at. I mean, think about it. We we wrestled with things a long time on how I'm gonna stop doing this. He said, stop it. He don't look at you know. We look at. I'm doing better if I cut down, if I ain't as much. You know what I'm saying? I ain't as bad as I used to be. What did you just say? How did he, so he grade as bad and bad? Where he going to put as bad at? Where is bad going first? What they call, where is bad going to Sheol? We talk, talk, where, is at not, where is not as bad going? Where is really, really trying going? So why are you trying to, why are you trying to stay in that state? Since he don't have a place for, I'm really trying, I ain't as bad as I used to be, and I'm working on it. These people all going with, he said, all are the same. Because it's all based upon choices at the end of the day of what you want to do. It, it is. It's a struggle. It's a fight with everything you got to do. But at the end of the day, what are you, what are you attaching it to? You got to attach your life to it. And I, I think that's where we at. We don't really think about us dying to the state of never existing again. Never existing again. That's scary. You know who it's scary for? Who know? Hand. Y'all gonna let Papa Son beat y'all out? What? Who? That's the only person gonna fear. Ain't nobody dead scared of not living again. Too late. That's not something that's in there. That's like almost in speech. It's not in the vocabulary. They already dead. <clears throat> they not here now. It's for the people that living. The people that living. He said to him that living, he said he know he gonna die. 
He said, the dead knoweth not anything. See, all they fear for us. See, all those people, they gone. You had your time. You had your opportunity. You heard, you heard the, you heard the uh, Cato Sarah, what they call the Trump. He said, they heard it. If you ain't seek to save your life, he said, then that's on you. Y'all understand that? How many of us, and I only want you to raise your hand because I've been included, have been warned and you went against the warning? Okay. Do my favor. <clears throat> go oh, put your name on no, and put a check by that. Go ahead. Put your, y'all stand in line. It's a little better. Y'all go ahead and get in the line. How you doing? Go ahead and get in line. I mean, that's sometimes the spirit be working. I said, how about I don't read this thing? That's all right. But see, that's what we got correction. Did y'all ever have to do that when y'all was in school? Yes, sir. What about you, Kasha? You ever put your name on the board in school? <laughs> so this old, you remember that then? That good. Which name you using now? Huh? You don't use the nigga name or Kasha? What? A, oh, <laughs> go ahead and take that. That's the Japanese kasha, yeah. Yeah, but so here we are. Uh, and, and you think about this. What if he would have killed us? What if he'd allowed Moot to come along when we was in that issue? What if he didn't, I mean, I, I've done it. What if he'd have just, what if he'd have said, that's on you and cut me out right now? I've been telling, but I, but I didn't think. I. He said, it's, think about people that's gone no doubt, if they had another chance, they'd probably been at some people were probably not everybody. Some might have been right at their end. Of, I was, I was really finna get serious. I, I was, I was just talking about that the other week. I was just saying, and he said, "Yeah, I was saying too. That's why you gone." I said, "It was time for you to go." Y'all understand what kind of uh, being that we dealing with of a greater of a greater power than all of us, Allahim, you know what I'm saying, the mighty ones. And he's proving it every time. We can't take him down. He take us down. He's stronger than us. And yet we look at, you know, we deal with somebody that has that ability, that can, at any time, that's it. They had somebody, I forgot what country it was, some, they was on a cabinet meeting. That joker died right in the cabinet meeting. End of story. That's it. They had to keep moving too. That's it. You know, you think about it. If people, he just, I mean, at whatever time, y'all don't think about it. It be people riding down the street. He stop them. They ride, the car still going. They just die right behind the wheel. You think they had plans on who going to drive it when they feel like they finna die? They be like, man, I ain't going to drive. I'm a, I, I don't want to wreck and die. You know, the man, you know, you think about it, even though you're going to be dead that long. I don't want to die and wreck and kill myself. Y'all get it? Don't worry about it. Just think I'll sleep on it. Then come back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, I, I, again, we, we forget all the people funerals you go to used to live just like us. A lot of them thought some of the same things we think and thought. A lot of them processed some of the same things we processed before. But then you think about how much did you really lay to your love that you really consider? I mean, consider to the point that you change. You know what I'm saying? I mean, anybody can think about it. Anybody. I've talked with people before. They haven't thought about it, but they ain't changed. You sit around there and think about it and say, hmm, that's something. Yeah. Then they'll keep drinking and keep smoking. They move on from that. That's just a distant memory in the mind. And, you know, he can let you be that person. You know, I remember talking to some people, um, and um, they thought, they thought, I knew they thought real hard. They stopped smoking. We were talking, I told them, I said, this is it. I told them, I said, this is it. I said, be the last time they see me. I let them know that was it. The guy stopped smoking. Man. Was, we were talking. They were thinking too. One of them, that joker that had the straight, that joker had, you can see like the flame of fires in his eye. That joker that wasn't changed. He was just quiet. He wasn't saying nothing. He wanted that conversation to start. He let his guy listen to that stuff. He like, he wanted that conversation to end. Them guys said they were thinking too. They were thinking. I know they were. I told them. They were like, you for real? I said, man, I'm for real. This is it. I like, this is it, man. I'm done. I told them about it. I let them flat foot. I don't know whatever, man. I just told them. It was it for me. I was done. And, uh, you know, but then guess what they're doing? They went back uh, more and more to realize. And I left them guys, and I rode to the store with them guys. And we rode the police road by, and them jokes said, man, they said, he about to turn the police light. He had hit it light. I looked, I was like, what they were like? He about to hit it light. I was like, and? They said, man, we got dope in the car. I'm seeing him like, these dumb niggas, him. And the police done hit the light. I seen him hit it light. He hit it brake lights. I look, I said, I'm finna go to jail with these niggas, and I just told them I'm done. This ain't even my stuff. I'm about to go to jail with these niggas here being stupid. Y'all run around with dope in the car? And uh, he laughed at Bray Light, just kept going. I said, yep, 
I said, I told y'all, I said, it's it. But I needed that. I needed it because it showed me that quick you were finna be gone. Because he hit it break. He rolled, he knew the car. He hit it brakes. You saw him hold it brakes. And he just left his brakes and kept going. I know for later on I realized that was for me. That one for nobody. Just to let me know. At any time that you think that's a game and you decide you want to go back, I know how to get you. And get what I was looking at. I want to I was clean. I didn't have nothing on me. I was good. So whatever they would come to do was going to be a waste of their time. But these dumb niggas had it. So you just let me know. It ain't got to be you. I use somebody else to take you down. But you know, this, these are things you don't consider when you're processing going through things. Because you, you, you take things for granted. I was 26, 25. 20, 25, so, yeah, we really don't think a whole lot about it. But, you know, what? I, I grew up a lot faster. I was a lot more mature than a lot of y'all. I don't, I don't know no 25, 26 I I've seen around him that, you know, I had to pick up stuff quick. A lot of stuff I had to learn how to do. You got to pick up. You got to catch on. You don't catch on. You don't catch on. You don't get got real quick. You can't be in the street and be stupid and slow. A lot of y'all, 30, 40, y'all can make it in the street. You're too slow. You process too. It take you too long to think about something. I know some of them, a lot of these they, they, they want to go to the street. You don't want to go to the street. They, and the people you're going to be with, it ain't that they process fast. They just as stupid. I'm really, they just as slow. They just as retarded. They just as dumb. Never would have thought about it. Let me video myself while I go in here and kill these people. Ah, oh, did me. Tony Smith, let me call you. They didn't want to know how to pull it. Which one of y'all niggas read it? On live YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I know one of y'all niggas told on me, too. Wait, wait, honey, you're like, are you serious? Are you serious? These guys are so stupid. And then they got the locator on on their phone. <laughs> it's like, you can't be no dumb than these people are. It's like, y'all don't want to be criminals. You're just too dumb to be criminals. They look good because they shoot people. That's because they're too stupid. They don't even know what they're doing. We were trying to get money. We had fun stuff. We did, we young, we did. Then you start trying to get money. You start looking, you're trying to get money. It's certain stuff you ain't trying to do because it'll mess up your money. So I know they don't know what they do. I know they don't know what they do. It's just stuff you don't want to do. Cause you, let me tell you what y'all, y'all know, y'all watch your news. Y'all see how uh, every other week you'll see the Russian mafia on there, how they have them shoot out. And Italian mafia. You, I wonder why that is. Cause you know they start realize you start messing up money. When you get a hot trap and you set a dope, you try to keep that kind of stuff down. Whooping up on customers, you don't do that. Cause customers, they're gonna call the police, they're gonna put the heat over him, they're gonna shut down money. You don't do nothing that's gonna interview and gonna make money. If you're gonna have to kill somebody, they're gonna be called. It's about money. These stupid niggas kill somebody. I thought they looked at me, talking about the guy blind who ain't had no head on his shoulder. Yeah, but you'd be surprised. This nigga see you through their shoulder. They so stupid. These young folks, they just don't, they just, it's just not there. And I said that to try to tell everybody, man, that's a good time. Make sure you do some self evaluation, make sure you're right. I'm serious, making sure, you know, salvation is what you really want to do. Because for me, this is what I really want to do. So to prove it, you got to change, you got to maintain. Change and maintain. That's all it is, change, maintain. Don't change and go back. You got to change, maintain. It's that serious now. All the things in the world, I, I, I want to get me a break. I do want to go me a vacation. I ain't going to tell you no lie. I'll be honest, I'm waiting on the one when he come back here. Time feeling so short and things going so bad. I don't know really know where you probably can go and be safe now. I mean, little raggedy California tore out the frame. Never seen that. That thing more raggedy than that than it was. I mean, you just, the earthquakes were big in the 70s. I don't remember the last. They probably had one in the 90s, maybe early 2000s. I don't remember the last earthquake they had. But I mean, one of uh, really of some magnitude was, you know, I'm sure in the 2000 they had one, but it ain't enough to bring back no recollection. But man, you look at these, them fires they had. I was, I'm, again, and it's not that salt people in California like that, but you are truly the dumbest state we have. But I'm not that salt the people, it, the state just dumb. I, I just couldn't imagine, I'm sitting on the spreadway, traffic. Both sides of the spreadway are blazing. I ain't talking, I'm talking about this thing look like she old. You know what I'm saying? 1.1 million. And I'm thinking now, let me see. What are all these sitting on the expressway? Automobiles. What they run with? Electric vehicles? These gas vehicles. And all I'm thinking, the whole expressway is burning so bad that day and night look alike. And some in my mind saying, boy, you need to get them and go to work. <laughs> I assure you, you can have that job. If you get on a lock in bumper to bumper, and that thing burn up, and that thing... It is too many vehicles, and then I'm telling the good one. Oh my goodness, most intelligent. 
when they video themselves riding through the fire, oh God. Oh, this is what I want to know. So when you drive through, when you drive into them flames, what's the end of it? When do it stop burning? How you know you just didn't walk into an eternal frame and you drove into it? These stupid, and they got the nerve to be praying. You got rubber tires, you got gas tank, everything, and your gas tank on the bottom, and you driving through the fire. In my, there is no reason I would ever probably say drive through the fire. Let me surround it, but then again, if I'm thinking, this is just not a good idea. I can't see the other side. How many of y'all said, did that make sense, y'all? How do you drive into something unless I can see the end? Not like you see them driving down the street, flood water. This is dangerous. How do you know where you at? You're driving, unless you can like, I'm driving between some cones sticking out the water, I know I'm in the street. How do you know where you're driving at? Yeah. I just, I just, whoo, these people, whoo, here's some dumb people. It's just, you know, just, and then they got, I, I'm trying, listen, you out there, let you figure that out. I'm not finna try to send no police down here. I'm not finna try to get no people jumping in water and try to get you. I'm thinking about alligators, especially like Florida people too now, y'all. Florida, y'all right, y'all moving at number three. They had one, what that picture true and they showed them sharks driving. Y'all remember they had that picture with them sharks? Fake picture? Let me ask y'all a question though. So let me ask y'all a question. Th them gators ain't fake. They pulled something out of New Orleans now. They pulled one gator. That y'all seen that joke? That joker wore him and he was swole. They said, and they had a the nurse say, he been eating. I said, you know, you know, I thought he was probably one of vegetarian. I said, yeah, you know, I thought he was doing an intermediate fasting. Did y'all think that where they going? They said, man, they flood. Let's not eat these people. Wait, what is it, people? Mind? Nothing tells me to walk through this water. These people walk through. How you, you talking about snake? Do y'all know what? It ain't no, you got, man, you got raccoons and possums and rats and. Y'all know how many stuff in this water been washed out and you walking through this water? Well, I should tell y'all. Y'all, how many y'all don't, I don't want to, do I want to know the answer? Do this, raise your hand in your heart. So nobody don't pick at you, but then raise it so we can see it. First, I want you to raise the one in your heart. How many y'all done live somewhere and it flooded? I'm talking about it flooded and you got in the water and you walking around. What state you was in? How, how, how the water got? She, okay, okay. Man, woo. Oh, you can't see this. Huh? How tall was you? I mean, how old were you then? Oh, yeah, it wasn't that bad. You, she and D, yeah, that's like, yeah, yeah. So you've been grown, you've probably been not around the ankle, yeah. Nah, but was you scared? And as a kid, y'all were playing, yeah. She and, she and about right up in him. Yeah, she and. Most of, how many of y'all didn't know where your she and was? Don't try to say it, don't say it. How many of y'all didn't know where your she and was? That right there, the front part, right by the front part, right down. Sound like folks, man, you don't, man, that ain't hit me in my chin. They think, oh, chin? That's kind of high, yeah. Shin. I don't know, they need to come up with some name we know what they call stuff. I'd have called this uh, front leg bone. I don't know what they name it. It's called it. Call stuff now. Uh huh. You say you were fibbing? Surely the man that called me a fibber, did he? <laughs> the Hold on, Chris. How, how, you went to college? Yes, sir. He asked a lot of questions. How, what you call it? The fibula? I think that's fibula. Which one you looking at? The tibula? The tibula? Hold on for you. You talk. Which one is it? The tibia. The fibula and the tibia are two together. When you got a flat chicken wing. The tibia and the Hold on, stop. Huh? We've been doing all this talking, and all of a sudden, there you bust out. What you know? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't be looking back there, Carrie. What are you talking about? We ain't gonna do it. Yeah, then, then. What you back there talking to him for, Carrie? Only one asked you about this. Yeah, like Daniel said, on you. Daniel, he heard you. <laughs> no. you about, so the fibula and the tibula, and the chicken, yeah, because the chicken wing, if it's flat, it got two little muscles that stick out on the bottom. I'll take your word for it. The two, it's a one bone, it's, it's a muscle. It's the muscle, two muscle. Two bone. Yeah, it's a little bone, and you can eat the little meat out of them. Some of these jokes been eating on human legs, that's how they know so much. Some of that stuff, is it, let me ask something, is it in the Bible? <laughs> can somebody condemn us for it? 
No, but no, that's, I guess it's good to know. Y'all got to know these muscles and stuff like that. About the young folk, y'all know anything? Any of y'all kids learn anything this week? Which one of y'all learned something that week? Exactly. Now, ain't nobody learning that. Robert, thank you. What you learn, Robert? He looking. You learned something, Robert? Huh? What you learn? Hell, don't be looking at Hell, don't look at the ass out of your mouth. What I, Robert, what you gonna ask? Robert, look at your mouth. What I learned now? Oh. Yeah. yeah. You got to ask that. You got to ask, no, not this week. Next week. It'll be, next week will be a week. He said, what, what, what was I learning? <laughs> no. What, what you got? You been in math, you've been learning about subtracting and adding? Mixed numbers. Mixed numbers. Oh, they got an interracial number now. Yeah. Ain't that right now? Ain't no, they got interracial numbers in there. What, I'm just kidding. What is a mixed number? Because all my eyes have been one, two, three. What, they just throw them in a barrel or something? You pick them up? When they stir them up. Did y'all know, they had, did they ever use that terminology when y'all come mixed numbers? Well, some of y'all just came out not long ago. I'm talking back in my day. How many of y'all from way back yonder? Did, did they have terminology like mixed numbers? Nobody, what if, I mean, what would have been a mixed number? Oh, yeah, Jordan from back there. Jordan, stop it. You ain't from back there. Let me ask something. Do you remember them talking about mixed numbers? I don't know. What happened? A fraction. What is that? A fraction. Oh, some ain't a whole number. Hold on for a start there. I said, some ain't a whole number. He said, what did it do, Wayne? Yes, sir. That man said, yeah, some ain't a whole number. That's what I just said, a fraction. Isn't that right? Yeah. And a whole number. Oh, like one and a whole number fraction. Those are mixed numbers. So you should. <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on. Yeah, part of it. Oh, that man I came out. Boy, hold on for me. Hold on for me. Hold on. Give me, hold on for me. No, no. Let me tell you something. You know what I like there right here? Them HBCU come out. They fight for their right. They don't play. Listen, they don't fight a white university all day. Look at that. That joke came in. They just said, oh, denominator, numerator. I went on the song. Wait a new product. They, what up, Negro Collin? Woo wee. That boy sure can cipher. That's what OJ Clamper said. Yeah, that's all right, though. She learned how to, yeah, the numbers. <laughs> Mix them up and all like that. What you learned, John? Oh, Adam? Okay, I spelled it. It ain't helped me out. I just tried. I want to see. I just said, A D. I said, A D O M N. No, it ain't helped. Because sometimes if you go and you think about this, A D. Y'all doing A D O M S. Now, how many of y'all know what it is after that? See, it don't work. But we, but we look good with it. So what are, what are the atoms? Oh, oh talking about um, in science, the atom, the small bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know what a small bit is. I know what that is. Well, yeah, I know what that was. Yeah, I could talk to you about that. All I had to do it took out, all I had to do it took out somebody in her brain. You said, this is an atom. <laughs> right? Yeah, I could have talked about that. that, that, that you know. uh -oh. What you got, AJ? Uh oh. What you learn? What you learn, AJ? Love. Who? Snow. What you learn about snow? It's falling down. It's falling down. So does rain. Ain't that right? Ain't <laughs> A grandma love, man. I try to figure out, like, man, what is that hard clap? A grandma love. That's all that is. Oh, that's so precious. <laughs> Uh, leaves fall down, ain't that right? All kind of stuff. Black folk, they get hit with batons and bullets. They fall down. Yeah, they call them snow, too. Uh, that's all right. Now, we try to educate and get our people there. We appreciate y'all. But um, in the day, <clears throat> we want to try to go through and look and, and, and try to fix a uh, 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 condition that we all have, which is fighting sin. Talk. Everybody deal with that. It's nobody that don't. Don't lie to yourself. Church will get you a lot. People don't talk about it really. They'll, they'll, they kind of make an imaginary game. That devil coming. Shut your mouth. Why the devil gonna come and tell me, man, get up, let's fight. <laughs> Say, don't do that. That's that stop. People do, I mean, but church, you'll get, you'll, I, I dealt with people. This one guy, I thought he got so spirit. He'd come visit, and um, I was at True Dirt. He, had, he wore double breast suit. So, dude, sitting in the seat back there, he sat. He'd get his jacket, he'd button that jacket up. Step out of the aisle like this, him. Take off running. And you look at, I mean, you saying, 
He got to have it. Because you why got you thinking, you'll go and you'll do that. You're like, man, he got to have it. He had a, he had a drove a tractor trailer. He put Holy Ghost over the top of it. <laughs> Did you, listen, he took some old shoes, jog, some running shoes, high top, tied them on the bottom of the, uh, on the cat, on the, on the uh, steps to step up in the truck. So he was in the street. The shoes like this. DLT pulled him over. He, that. he said, DLT said, he said, he said, I said, he said, I, I just want to just look at He said, I just, I had never seen nothing like this. He had white headed road on there. He said, that's the blood. I asked, I said, what? That's the blood. He, uh, he said, what? He said, what the tennis shoes down here for hanging? He said, them are Holy Ghost running shoes. Bill <laughs> <laughs> T told him, go ahead, carry on. Because they threw him. They were trying to fit. He got tennis shoes at the bottom. Don't think he's going to spread. He wants to go and just roll it. He said, them are Holy Ghost running shoes. That nigga owed me money, told more lies. I, man, I said, these folks. I'm talking about Holy Ghost field talking. That nigga tell a lie in a his lip quiet and then lie just seeping out of it. It'll seep out of his mouth with his lips touching. Just a liar. But you know, they'll, it's, they'll, members, they'll mesmerize you that and what get you. And people thought a lot of them because they looked at, why would a person be pretending to do that? If they did it, truly they got it. And I think um, we, we as a people, I say as a people, people in general, People have wanted it, but not um, not willing to go through what it takes to obtain it. Uh, even Shaul talked about the day that uh, strive for mastering. He said they're only crowned if they do it lawfully. I'm, if me and Daniel were to do a race. If I beat Daniel, everybody, they give me the medal, whatever it is, certificate, a ribbon, whatever it is for it. And later on, they come on and find out I was doping. They're going to take it. I'm going to feel like, well, I beat Daniel. They said, yeah, beat him, but you didn't do it lawfully. So, you know what I'm saying? When you start looking at, you'll see a lot of people obtain things. A lot of times, y'all don't, don't, don't consider, and I say, y'all, I've been there before, though. Yeah? You don't consider they're doing it lawfully. What's inside the means, the confines, or what it takes for you to actually have it. A lot of people got stuff, it ain't because they got it lawfully, the correct. Well, it ain't just now people, don't, don't go sticking on religion. We're talking about a lot of people out there, a lot of these societies, a lot of these groups, a lot of these corporations. I was telling somebody about that um, back before they had another, I said, they were going to another company. I said, when you get in, you're going to find out they're corrupt too. I said, they stuff. I told them the same thing. They said, okay, I said, said Rod, you ain't going to believe it. I said, what, what happened? I said, man, they forging them. I said, I said, they all do it. I said, I said that's just their business way. These business that make up numbers. They, they, they so huge and so complex, there's no way you can get their numbers. They pay people. They don't get no outside people to their books. They pay people to do their numbers. They keep them right there. So get what they do. You are complicit in this whole thing. They're not going to go get nobody outside. They're going to keep them there. They're going to have their own book, keep them there right there. Make sure you're complicit. When they come in to see you to get their numbers done, you are complicit because you know about it. But it has to be done. They got stockholders, shareholders. They got a whole lot of other people they got. They got loans, other stuff they're doing. America books for it. My opinion, they're going to tell you America now. Y'all didn't know, America about to default on their debts. Let's they agree to this 31. You think these folks knew that? How many of y'all didn't know that? Go and tell the truth. What would it? Listen, you think this was on the Cosby show? They, need, they got to hit a $31 trillion debt ceiling. Y'all see that ceiling? That's what y'all said. That, how high can you jump? That ceiling probably probably what twenty feet maybe. Jump thirty. What's gonna happen? Through the room? No, you, you can't. You gonna hit your head. We're gonna we're gonna have to wind up raising the ceiling in order for. <laughs> yeah, right. Really. So he so he made so y'all understand when they look at the debt ceiling. <clears throat> the the ceiling will have to go higher in order for you to reach thirty. So what they're doing, they're taking it up higher. The money they owe back is becoming more increased. And they're looking at, they're finna default on their loans. But I don't know why people saying that. They've always defaulted. Have they ever paid us? Right. I don't know why people think it's amazing. They're about, to, they're about to default on their loan. They've always defaulted. They've never paid. A lot of these people don't pay. A lot of these countries defaulted. They always do it. But since they do their own numbers, they control the news media. They control everything. How you going to know? The people inside there with them, all those people, <coughs> all those people have their monies. I don't care what the debt is, what America, how dead it is. They're going to sit down and they're going to vote, and they're going to get themselves a 50% raise. Every, can you imagine every time a raise came up, you got 50% more? 50, in two years, you will make double what you're making. What job, what job gives you the, everyone, you get to vote on, 
If your employer said, listen, go tell me how much your raise should be. Come on, 50%. And this is the sad part. You'll crash a business like that. You ain't going to believe it. America crashing. Because you left it to the employees. To, to, listen, let me tell you something. Man. I told y'all before, business wise, a lot of you don't know anyway. Man. Why y'all think that country's so messed up right now? Because the people came up with how much they ought to make. And while it looked like a good idea, look at how you make, what you making now. Think about it. People not making more money now than they ever, they ever made. Come on, people make it. When I started driving trucks, we were getting 23 cents a mile. <clears throat> you was in school, you learning. When you get 28 cents a mile, stuff like that, man, you was a professional. You had been driving. You a trainer, 30 some cent a mile, 32. That was great money. That was good money. You making six hundred dollars a week, and these folks on the road. Well, Uncle Tell drive, they were making less than that. But then people don't realize now. People have been. I just use trucking. Don't don't think I'm not a tech of trucking. I'm just using numbers. The average truck driver now make about fifteen hundred dollars a week. Easily, eighteen two thousand dollars. Some make even twenty five hundred. When you look at some of these people, McDonald's, these people. These people are idiots, and these, they look, let me just, um, this, no one saw y'all kids, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't pay none of y'all over $4,000 an hour. I wouldn't give it, you're a kid, you ain't here playing, your pants hung down, they're too tight, so I know your, your menstrual finna come on, too much stuff squeezed up on him. I know you nasty, I know you don't wash your hands. No, let me tell you something, I don't go in these places. I don't go to them places, I don't even fool, I see a young kid, I already know him, you playing with that phone, you been touching this phone, playing with money, digging your booty, grabbing your crotch, scratching your behind. I know you ain't wash your hands. You handle this money, you go touching something else. You ain't nothing but an infestation. They are just because nobody teach them. They're not teaching them the respect of how you handle it when you handle the food, food service, and how you do stuff quietly. They're not, everybody just everybody want to stick someone. You paying these kids now? Some of these folks making eighteen, twenty dollars. These folks made done never seen twenty dollars. You made twenty dollars. You was exact. These folks making ridiculous money. They're sitting here and playing around with this stuff. Why y'all think the cost of living went so high? Gas ain't even where it need to be considering what people are making. People tell me, won't gas come down? Let me ask y'all, I'm going to tell you why gas won't come down. You got people making $2,500, $2,000, $1,500 a week. $800 a week just about almost average. Why would I be selling you gas for a dollar? You guys will drain out the pumps. You'll drain the pumps. It's no way you can't get enough supply when people have that amount of money at a low cost. So you have to raise the cost of the goods to keep. Now when you go to the gas pump and you start seeing your thing in here, fit it up, you cut it off. You go, woo, thirty-five dollars. You look at woo, I'll cut this thing. Otherwise, you'll drain my pumps. People are sat there and leave the car. People are going how'd you leave the car running? And we went back to seventy cents a gallon. Do y'all understand these pumps will be empty? People, how much money would you spend at 70 cents and you fill up? You'd be filling up for $20. $15. You can't, you can't afford to have people doing that. You'll mess up the economy. So see what people don't know, like these people more, just like in England, you got the people out. Now, now I'm against people not getting a fair way. A lot of these companies do rip people off. They can pay them better. That is true. But on an average, when you start looking at what people get, look at the cost of living and what you're making and how things work. When all these people go up and they start changing the government to push to get more money, you don't want to get the government involved. The government get involved, they always screw stuff up. Life ain't designed for everybody to make it, not to make it rich. <laughs> you can't afford to. If everybody rich, what happened, like I said, with COVID, when people got them checked? Man, you had stores, they closed. People just closed down. You can't get no work. What people saying? I can't get no help. I can't get no help. So now you know what you got to do. You, now it's an easy, it's an easy fix it is. This is why you getting it now. Ask these folks now who look for a job how easy to get one now. You got what you got to do. You got to make them now. They go to work. They're gonna stay where they at. See, see, it's a fix to everything you're doing. You just don't know why. So what you do, you start laying out. You see, they putting twelve thousand in the street. What's the other company called? Alphabet. That's a, uh, it's a media. It's one of them social media. Giggle. Who? Facebook. A B. Alphabet. That one they put. They let, they let twelve thousand go. 12,000. What, what them 12,000 people make, what, probably like $8 an hour? What y'all figure they making? Six fifty. dollars They have no idea. When you put them people in the street, what you think they finna do? For those other people who out there who applying for job, when these people put their resumes in. See, this come in with everybody greedy. 
Everybody keep thinking they're going to get something, they're going to make all their money, they're going to stay here. You don't realize, they, they know how to break you. So when people start crying out, talking about what they want, they want, like, people got more money. Did your rent stay the same? <laughs> exactly. These folks came right back to you and let you know, this is your new rent. You saying, dog, as soon as I make something, something go up. How you think it's going to work? How can you afford to leave goods at the same price and give you more money? Especially now when goods are limited. Don't y'all know whenever, listen, most of y'all know, everything works out called supply, demand. How many people need food? Probably about 3% of people in the world. Everybody need food. What do we have with food right now? An abundance? Shorted. So how much should food cost? Because if you leave food cheap, you, everybody going to buy it up and eat it. When you walk in here now, when you were buying a dozen of eggs for one ninety nine, and now eggs eight dollars. How many dozen you want, ma'am? You say, listen, can I? You know what they're saying? Can I just get two of them out of there? After a while, you be selling eggs, just get two. So it ain't gonna be four line. Listen, let's just cut this in half, four ways. It bad. Everybody get three eggs and walk. Can y'all imagine what an egg? They say eggs going to eight dollars, six to eight, depending on what you want. You want the home on. Yeah, you want the hormones, you're gonna get the six. You want the non hormones, you're gonna get the eight. That's just where y'all think where y'all think the world going. But all of this is to do something too. This is to push her to condition her to trust who? Yahuwah. Think about it. Now, let, listen, let me tell you something. What's somebody else saying? Who said government? Carol, come put the chair back <laughs> Carol, you been star. I saw you know. You know, let me tell you, you remind me when I was in school, I tell you, I knew you were going to be trouble this morning. I came to see you today, Mr. Bain. That, that bad with your teeth, you in trouble, they call you Mr. Mr. Hey, Mr. Smith, but hey, why you call me Mr. I'm in trouble. Baby, I'm going to give you respect. You still in trouble. Mr. Smith, go to the office. <laughs> My goodness. But, uh, yeah. Put another one for taking that long to find your name. It's your name, you wrote it. You gotta look for it. Get one more just, for, just in case. Okay. Hold on, do hold on, do stop before you do it. Are you gonna do anything else before you go back to your seat? I'm not are you gonna do anything else tonight? I ain't gonna have no more problem with you tonight. If I ain't gonna have no more problem with you tonight, you ain't gonna put no check up down. That's it. This is it right here, man. Put that check. Put that check up down. Put that check up. What's your wrong? How many of y'all believe that Carrie wasn't gonna do none of tonight? Well, this is gonna be a tale we're gonna find out. So Carrie, you want ahead, all right? See that? I told you that. Start the day. That's the problem right there. And the day already here, he done messed it up. But um, and I say all that with everything we go through. And it's um two things, it make you to consider things and realize how much Mr. Yahoo actually is our provider. Because you can't provide and make your way. You'll think you can. And a lot of times you'll get to go and people will get fear of, oh, how I'm gonna make it, what I'm gonna do, what's gonna happen. You're gonna make it all your way made it. If you've been doing what he tell you to do and we keep serving like we're supposed to, he always provides, just like he always told he would. But a lot of times he had to put in the condition. I'm just telling you, when you're doing everything yourself, when you're, when you, like when I say everything, you never are, but don't get me wrong. But every day you get up, you go going to work, you're making things happen. By going, you putting your days in, you got your hours. Hey, some overtime, you work, you got the overtime, that come in handy, that put it. Man, you making it happen, so you get out doing whatever it is you do. And you will assume it's you, you'll forget. So every now and then he had to say, Let's put a hold to that for a second. Let's just let's slow this down. Let's just kind of look at this thing again and see how it's been going. And then I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work where things still gonna work for you. And if you're not gonna be doing it, you're gonna realize you weren't doing anything, were you? You assume you were doing something. He always provide. But sometimes I'm telling you, well, because I right, pray. I right, I got a bunch of bills. I've been fired. Look, what what's my prayer? What's my prayer? My, a what? New job. Because I'm praying for the job because the job is going to be my answer. The job is going to be my resolution. The job is going to fix my situation. He said, no, I'm going to fix your situation. So I'll get you to show you how. I'll let you sit and wait, and I'll show you how things still work out to show you that wasn't your answer, what you needed. I just stopped you. I need you to consider. That's all. I just need you to consider. Listen, I told you all before we interdependent. Sometimes he'll work through one another. He works it out, though, where things work out to show you it was never you. It was never you. Anything all of us ever did, including me, we've only screwed up things when we intervene. Now, sometimes, let me help. You say, mm -mm, don't help. Just don't worry about it. They say, how, how can I help? Just stay right there and just don't touch. Now, you're like, how did that happen? <laughs> just, just, hey, y'all ever seen that situation? You're in a, 
Just, just sit right there. It, it, say, you don't know. You have me right there by you sitting there not doing nothing. Because whenever you do something, you're going to cost me more. So we have to understand that a lot of times. So he puts us all in situation just so we can consider. Let me tell you something. It's too easy not to trust in uncertain riches. If you win and you got a million dollar right now, every one of us in, you can say you're, you're going to change. On that answer, you know what you're going to look at? First thing I'm going to do, quit my job. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to go get them, because you start to trust in the riches and you'll forget sometimes. And when you got people say, you'll try no doubt to stay humble, but it'll be hard because you put in a different situation. And then he had to come and crumble everything around to teach you to show you, you had more serenity, you had more shalom before you had it. Sometimes you get things, it don't even cause you problems. There's a lot of them here too. Folks are, I'm going to get married, get married, get married. You know they realize, shoot, it wasn't so bad by myself. Uh, by myself, I could just done, I could have went, but now I got to. That's a lot of stuff. Not, not at all. Marriage is bad. I don't believe that. But I just know a lot of times we get things and we ask for things. It's good sometimes to wait on him and see how he, what he to say. If we do what we supposed to do, by him, I tell you, everything for you, can nobody stop it. I know y'all ain't going to believe it. Y'all going to say, oh, that's him just talking. Okay, try it and see. The best thing you can do is let him guide you, trust him on what it is you have to do. And that's, now that's based upon you doing what he said now. Don't, don't, don't pull that like I've done it. I'm sure I'm guilty. I'm just trust him when it's that one thing you want. But you ain't trusting him solely enough to where you're doing this constantly. This is a consistency. This now, now I'm gonna trust him when I'm in one of these situations that's something I want. How many have been guilty of that? That's where it starts with being honest. So he's looking for somebody. Can you do this on a consistent basis? With or without things. Like Abraham, he he, he a man in Allahim. He left out from his Abba house. He had to to leave. He then he could have just stayed and waited a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But he moved and he went and he left. Now Luke was on a different end. When it came down to Luke to get ready to get out, Luke was looking around kind of waiting, trying to figure, I mean, I don't want him to just be stupid and just pop up and run out of here, you know, and something happened. Something grabbed me trying to get out of him. He looked at, I mean, I want to make sure I process this thing. You talking about the whole city? All this going to burn up? And this over here, too. He trying to really put down and get it. He had, to, he had to be forced to move. They had to grab him and lay hands on him to move him out. But Abraham, you don't find that with him. Abraham, the book said he moved with Ari, moved with Yahweh. When it came down to him offering up his only being, he didn't sit down and realize this, man, this whole thing shot. I must have messed up. He, if that's what you want, that's what I do. And, and, and in saying that, if he, he had to be a man just like us. Had to be a man just like us. Yet, what intrigues me is the fact that this man would be willing to take his only son and offer him up based upon a conversation, based upon a, a conversation and having the confidence in the man that he conversated with that he will still be able to do what he said regardless of this situation. I'm not that guy. None of us are. I don't think any of us are that guy as a people. Because if he told we're going to do something, we're quick to feel like when things don't work out or something happens, that it's going to go against what he's already prepared for us. If something happens negative, we're automatically going to assume that and we're going to weigh it against salvation. We are. But why wouldn't Abraham weigh that against? If he want me to offer up my only son, as they said, that it's because he's not going to do what he said or he can't do it. He didn't. He moved. I might, it might not intrigue you guys. It might not be something. But if he's the Abba of what it is that I'm supposed to possess, then I want to do just like any son do. I want to mimic the Abba. I do. I want to learn the Abba. And I, want to, I want to learn. I want to know. I want to, I want to get back to what sourced him to that point. What, what, what put you in that position? What put you or what? What allowed you not to, to question, not to say, man, hold on for a minute. This a lot. Because I know why I'm at. If it's somewhere where me, I'm the type of, I got to think this thing. I'm going to look and say, let me think about this. But I don't want that hesitation or distraction when it comes down to what he told me. And because the, of the people we are, including myself, a lot of times those could be the very thing that could hinder and stop us. 
but it didn't prevent anything he said he was going to do for him. As a matter of fact, it only allowed him to become even mm -hmm. greater as we know him today for any religion. Every religion acknowledges Abraham. And for the, the, the larger one, more significant, how was it? Because they look at Islam and even with Christianity, as they call it. Everybody acknowledges Abraham. You know what I'm saying? We might all argue about the relationship of saying that the religions that each of us all can have or, you know, have some different um, ideals about it, yet um, everybody agree on him being a man, that he was a friend of Ra'a to Allahim. Allahim regarded this man and respected this man so much that he even kept it not only with him, he said, I'll keep it with your seed after you. I won't just keep it with you. I don't want you to think this is something that's just for you. I, because of you and the relationship we have, I'll continue on this relationship or this care that I have for you with them. Can you imagine that? Y'all how long that goes since Abraham been dead? Moot. You only hear because of you only hear because of a promise he keeping. How many of y'all have made a promise before? How many of y'all have broke the promise? What you think about a man that keeping a promise with a man that been gone? He couldn't get up from the dead if he wanted to to check to see if he was keeping it. And where he at, he, went, he could care less at that point. Because he don't have a part of life as far as controlling it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, nobody, and listen, you're talking about a man, none of us can go out there and grab him in his collar and throw him off that throne and say, what you doing? You liar. You ain't keeping it. Nobody, like with us, we're only keeping what we're keeping because of the fact I'll kill you. Hmm? Somebody ride up and tell you, hey, pull up, get in, hey, get in the car with me. What you gonna say? Get in the car, blow your brains out. What you gonna do? That's a dip. Who, who making him keep this that he keeping? You think about a man, and you gotta think about this. He's keeping it because of himself. Now how much he think of his word? He said, it ain't I can't break it, and if I did, nobody could do anything about it. I keep it because that's who I am. And I'm trying to establish a people who by nature, this is not their character. Do you, do you understand what we have? To, it's mind boggling it, Everything we do. You was a kid. Your, how many of y'all parents told y'all to go to bed? Why did y'all go? Out of respect. Out of respect. Right, they, they can't make you go. They can't make me go. I'm just going anyway. Why did you go? Fear. Fear. See, I'm, how things you've done in life have been a fear. You know what I'm saying? A lot of been fear, some type of restriction, some type of retribution toward. Well, he, he said, listen, man, I, he, listen, you're talking about who holds himself to his word. He said, listen, if one thing I said for him, if one thing I said alter, if the stroke is wrong, he's all I got wrong. He said, oh, man, it ain't that serious. Like one of the hypers, we sit here, yeah, I lied to you. You might say, we're gonna, you say, you know what, man, I forgive you, man. You ain't going to hold that again, man. You know what he said? I lied. He ripped, you think, hold on, what you doing? He said, this can't exist no more. You think, oh, oh that's, that's kind of strenuous. We, we, it ain't that serious, it's just one lie. He said, he said, yeah, for me, all this stuff got to scroll up. He says, got to roll up like a scroll. He said, I got to. Because that's the only thing. He said, listen, I wanted people to know how much the Amat meant. That if I lie, if I if the stroke is wrong, that's listen. The, 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 um, with him, it's a lot different. You know, when you look at when Yahushua taught us about um, comparing the end to things, you know, um, the writing, the stroke, even the stroke of it is so important. See. When our people wrote, it's different with English. You can write things in a way where your scripting can be, you know, people can be out. But them, they, you, you're so careful in, even the, in the stroke of it. Because how, how, how our, um, uh, the characters are of it, nothing needs to be altered. Everything needs to have a certain display to it. And they looked at when they wrote, you, it's, some, it's time consuming because you're looking at, you're trying to make sure everything comes out because it, it's creating an idea. Y'all got what I'm saying? You know, you can look at something, they say, what? Man, I don't know what this thing is. What, what is it you wrote with him? He said, they got to know. Because if they don't know, they're error. So every stroke is that important. Everything I say has to be held to the letter. Y'all say, it's got to be held to his character. Y'all got it to his true meaning. And that's the difference with everybody else's writings. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't hold them in that because it's argumentative. It could be, but for us, it has to be that. Think about it. the man said, listen, he said, not the tittle, these are strokes. These are little writings. These are little, small, little, detailed little hints. It's like a dot or a, the period over the top of the letter I, the small lowercase I. He said, it, everything is so distinct. It's so distinct that when he took Musha up on the heart, the mountain, he let him know, see that you do all things after the pattern. After the pattern. That, 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 don't, that don't strike. That don't, don't get you. I understand. It, it depends on where you're at. So detail is important to him. Detail is very important. Sometimes people say, you, you're trying to pay too much attention. See, I'm going to tell you what I learned in, in, in building, remodeling. You, you, you can do stuff to where people don't notice it. I watch different people do stuff. They say, well, if you do this, then they won't notice it. So you can work to do things to throw things off with a shadow. You can, you can, you can interior decorate when it's a spot. You can put something there and make it something where somebody don't even pay attention to it. They'll think that it was purpose, but it was actually unintentional, but the cost of fixing it, so you decorate it so as to not notice the imperfection. Like a wall, put a picture right there. You say, man, I'm going to take that whole sheet right now. You don't have to do that. Just put a picture there. Somebody come in and catch the picture and say, mm, and just keep moving and say, see, they missed it. You see what I'm saying? It would be something to y'all. You can take some motion and put it over it. Make it a flower bed and cover it up. See, you can do that. But with Yahuwah, he said, I pulled everything off of it. I don't want nothing covered. I don't want nothing here. I want everything displayed. When you go through and you measure and you check it, everything is to tell me it's complete. So if that's the type of person we're dealing with, then I think we really have to start looking at our understanding have to make sure we kind of really understand what we're dealing with. The same one of the things you just cry and be ignorant, and that's the answer, you know, as long as he don't worry about you knowing nothing. And th does that make sense, he not worried about me knowing nothing, when he said they all should be taught of him? Think about it, when, as a criminal, they said, God ain't worried about that, baby. You don't have to know nothing. God just love you. Ain't that, did that sound like a conversation Christians have out there tell you? But, so what it meant, you know, I never, in quote unquote holiness, they, they never thought, he said, they all should be taught of me. I mean, you, I never thought of my, in my mind, thought, you thought what you knew was enough. He said, they all going to be taught of me. He told you, he said, all your beneath going to be taught of me. All of them going to be taught of me. Anything, why? He said, because he's, he's so um, meticulous about errors. Y'all got an error. In baseball, they'll, they'll count that. Pitchers try to watch that. You know what I'm saying? All the things come up, that's an error. And that count against your record. Anybody play baseball? They know about that? Errors count. They matter. Now, imagine they count them against them. And they trying to, yep, he's he, he trying to look at, he want a no hitter if he can get it. He trying to make somebody get a hit run, a home run on them. Isn't that right? He trying to make sure he don't stack and load the bases. He trying to make sure he don't get error. All these things are important. But you you got to make sure you don't have no errors. And the only way not to get any errors is to make sure that you know definitively what you're doing. But that's going to come in with understanding who you're dealing with. Because some people grade things differently. Some, some mother have a baby in a wheelchair. You know, she tell her baby, you just as fast as them mother kids. Them kids out there just running. She was especially big mama. She said, that baby sitting in that wheelchair, look at them kids, ain't got no cut off at the ankle, cut all the way off of him to the torso. She said, baby, look how fast now, baby. You just as fast as them mother kids. Well, the best stuff come right here. And that baby feels so much better. And start telling that kid, if you got that, they're going to, man, they're going to blow the wheels off that thing. You try. <laughs> it don't hurt him, but he know the truth, though. He knows, and, that, and that's what happened with us, and that's what religion did to us. Religion went and tells the truth, say, you don't stand a chance. Religion came along and told us it didn't matter. It told us, even though, like how they taught us about the quote-unquote Jews was, they was, they was God people. So they used to be God people. Now I remember that. Think about it. How you convince me in the Christian to tell me they were here people? That don't make sense. If you think about it, that really doesn't make sense. Why did I go to church if his people don't go to church? His people, it wouldn't, but unless you convince me that that used to be God's people. But now God got him a new people. And that's what Jesus Christ did. He came and he built the church. 
So when you see them, oh yeah, that's God people used to be. See, people have to sell you lies to get you into things. Verse, the book declared, the writing declared, Elohim had never cast away his people. He said that he foreknew. He said he never did it. He said, I don't, I don't know how that happened. But why, why and how do we let people convince us of he had established him a church? And now that overrode everything he said before because this church was going to establish this new people and those old people were done away with. He's going back to recover those people. He's going to allow them to recover. Why y'all think we move from Christianity to start moving the way we're moving now? Because he's recovering. I didn't have no problem with Jesus. Unlike these other people, I'm not going to tell them, I wasn't tossing through my bread to my, that J got me. That J ain't bothered me not one time. I don't know about the other folks. And then the E and the S and the sus and never had the conversation in my bed. Never did. Well, it was just like he said, he's our founder of them who didn't even saw, who weren't even seeking me. Fulfilling what he said. He's our founder by them. And you hear that, you're trying to figure out, what? He said, see? You weren't even seeking and you found me. Showing you, who else could have told us that? I was found by them that weren't even seeking me. Well, now, I don't know, maybe some other y'all was in here. Well, some of y'all in here, we done a Christian, and you tell me, man, I'm telling you, it's like, like something like bothering me at night, getting me up, like, got to get out this Christian. I got to come. No, didn't happen. Wasn't bothering me. They just, when he come to a point, he would come to start to look at, it's time for him to make some changes. Sometimes the changes can't be too drastic because they're too drastic, people are faint. Just like it was when he brought them people out from Mizraim, he took them around a long way. You know he said that was a shorter way? He said, but they would have fainted. If he would have hit us with everything at one time, said, listen, y'all, this is the complete, we're not there, but just what we know now, this everything right here get y'all started. I said, what a friend we have in G. I, that's how it could have been too much. Overwhelmed, that's being honest. The fact that he knows how to bring you into things. You know what I'm saying? To get you into things where you can start, okay, it's practical when I sit down and consider versus how I've seen things in years past. You got what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Because, I mean, if people, he let them get it, overwhelm you and quit. Oh, yeah, he can blow you out. When it comes down to knowledge, it's always more information. So you got information, find information. Everybody has an opinion on things. Then you have to look up people's credibility on opinion. Now, does that mean the person with the most degrees had the more accurate information? No. So now you have to sit down and you got to weigh things based off of practicality and what you do know. You know what I'm saying? What lines into consistent with what he'll do and how he more or less mandate things. This is kind of what you have to start looking at. And you have to be able to sit down the cipher and look at to know the difference between two and Rosha. Hello? Come on, what y'all think people doing? Why y'all think people doing a lot of stuff they're doing now? Because they can't decipher what's the difference between tube and Russia, good and evil, right and wrong, hot and cold. Hello? That's one of the big, why, why y'all think all these different religions and different sects? Even with Yehudah, everybody different. Because everybody has a different ideology of what's right and wrong. Everybody have a different ideology of the do's and the do nots. Hello? Okay, here we are. I mean, some of them have been, we was a member, how many, uh, like, like similar Hebrew, it was like just one camp. I thought, oh, you ought to just go down a couple of times. He had to drive him home. Like, he'd get through drinking, smoking beaters. Yeah. <laughs> gotta take your pal, I gotta stop by the store to buy some beaters. <laughs> My pal's never getting, give me a bill too. <laughs> yeah. And Ray, how many different camps you remember? Got them. Blow them campfires. For how many camps, though? Four or five. How many camps? Oh, two camps. I don't know. We're a camp, though. We're a building. <laughs> but we be a camp. I mean, the baby argument, I don't know. What they consider a camp? I be thinking about a camp. I be thinking of sitting outside around the fire. I be under with y'all. Do anybody else see like that? What I'm thinking, they say, yeah, I'm under camp. I'm thinking camp. Y'all outside in the teepees or the tents. But I know they're in a big, yeah, 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 I remember such, such camp. I'd be like, oh, camp. So y'all sitting around a little fire and all roasting marshmallows and stuff with them hot dogs. Anybody, how many of y'all used to burn trash in the country? Okay. 
Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Let me skip. Let me look at everybody here. That one says stop. Put them back down. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it right. Let me see. How many of y'all used to roast the hot dog, cook them over the trash, burn the trash? Burn the trash. Hold on for a minute. Yeah, burn the trash. How many grew up in the county burn the trash? Cause first of all, in Japan you used to do that, burn the trash. What part this here. In, the, in the summertime, all the kids had to go stay with grandparents. Yeah, now that's true. So we did all that. The kids had to go yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's true now. I remember that. We had to go to the country in the summertime. <laughs> she always said that. She always said, hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Boy, I sure hated them nigga boy then. Woo, but you told us that was some bad hate I had, too. It's bad. Man, you got them, man, them mosquitoes don't never respect you to fly. Now. <laughs> man, you got something, we ain't got no time. Man, we would catch it. Man, we'd catch them June bugs. They'd be green. You remember them bugs? Oh, yeah. Woo, them things. Man. Listen, they'd be about that big. You catch them, and you tie, you tie a piece of thread on their leg. They let them fly. You yeah. said, what the world? Man, I'm praying Matthew be on the side of that house, humping them other, humping them other insects. You remember that joker be on that bed like that, weighing them out, sucking the blood like them jokers. I think he might be praying, don't you move, please, don't let them move. <laughs> I'm getting my groove thing on right now. All them praying, man, man, it was rough down. That country was rough. Man, it'd be a whole lot of spots ain't got no grab. And that dirt be hot, and that white dirt is the worst dirt you want to see. Man, that sand on that dirt, when you go on that dirt road, and them shoes off, but that thing's just your foot hot. You can't, you had your foot in that sand, that sand be cooking, but it was rough. And when you hit that big toe on one of them rocks in that ground, and that big, and that meat come out that big toe up down, boy, you be hunting a long time. Man, you get in somebody's car, dirt be all up your leg like that. You look at, listen, all this white dirt. All this dirt. You get in somebody's car, it white dirt. You look at them kids, you like, you ain't getting this car. Man, it was rough back then. But y'all ain't used to burn the hot dogs over the trash. He said you to wash your marshmallow. They had, in Lowell County, they had marshmallows. Jones County. Yeah. Jones County. Ain't no way, I don't believe it. You believe that they had invented marshmallow down there? <laughs> no, no, I don't believe that. We ain't had no marshmallow. They ain't buying no stuff like that. We had them, my hunt, listen, she went to the store, it was a pack like about that, about like they had full of them little red cheap hot dogs. Okay? When you put them in the water, the water turned, the color come off in the water. If we'd have probably put some, yeah, like hot like if you'd have poured some sugar in that water and cooled it, it better, it'd have been uh, it been a hot link watermelon Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, man. Hot dog Kool-Aid. I might make that up now. Man, listen, we'd have getting them things, they used to tell us. They'll tell you like eating raw hot dog. Oh, we we couldn't wait. We're gonna have a refrigerator. Put your money at. Man, you be outside, walk around them things, you chewing your cold hot dog. Man, we could have hang and put that thing on that. We burn the trap, hang it on the trap. That thing fall out, hit the trap, go down. Take a side of the house, rinse it out, go back and start eating. Back then, stuff didn't kill you. You eat trash. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you this. Man, that thing fell in that trash, that brew. You, you weren't going to say, let it, you got to get that up and rinse it out. You know, they ain't playing that stuff. You can't do that. You can't throw in it. Man, you sat somewhere down, a rose ran crowd down. Man, that extra, that extra food, you got to keep going. And the country, man, for, listen, man, you can't keep no rose. Man, everybody welcome. You know what I mean? You might come in there, man. I'm telling you, man. You wake up, man. You you getting ready to go outside, and a roach got your shoes on, and already outside. <laughs> you see your shoes straight, go out and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, you said, "Go around, nigga." Then. Listen, man. The country, man. You had to know how to enjoy yourself. Old raggedy wooden screen door. That thing out there. When they open, it slap, spot. You know you're in the country. Or uh, some of them things clap and slap for clack, clack, clack. clack. And uh, but them, 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 them good old days. But I mean, eating stuff fell on the ground. Everything back there was everything, even possum piss, it was clean. You know, if something got on the ground, I mean, everything out there, you kiss, kiss up the guard and keep going. But we did a lot of kissing in the country. Like now, if you drop something and you catch it right here, don't eat it. Okay, and two, okay. Somebody talking about you catch it, just go ahead and throw it in the ground and mash it. Don't eat it, I'm telling you. It's dangerous. Now, this is a whole new world, young folk. I don't want you to get out here and try that stuff like we used to. You see your kid out of the floor, you got to slap him in the neck week. Back then, that was just a kid down there picking up there. Ah, ah! Okay. <laughs> Go on. 
Man, you better die. You better die a car with an elbow and lay your kid out. I don't care if it's a mop flow. Knock them out. I'm talking about knock them and run them unconscious and snatch it back and they tongue out. It's that dangerous out here now. All right, we're going to talk a little bit. This is Romans 14, 15, 4. Yeah. Oh, we still had work up here for last time. How far do we get? All right, let's see. 15, 4. Whew. All right. All right, listen. For what things soever Nikatab were Nikatab for our Lamed, that through endurance in the Nakum of the Kitubim, mm. we might have Tikva. That's our goal. And we have might have expected weight. We 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 never did finish. Let's see the Roman ten. Let's see over there. <coughs> let, 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 let's let's see something. There's some came to my mind. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll look at that and see. Came to my mind. Let's see. We we did this. We'll, we'll try to roll through ten and one. So we got through something. Come on, read. Ask you who will see fit. Listen. Okay. Good read. Your mic on. Yes, sir. Okay. I came the will of my lob indeed, and my palal to Allahim is for them. Unto Yeshua. And we talked about that salvation. And we talked about the need of understanding what salvation was. Then understand what you're being delivered from. So I think you appreciate the situation. Listen. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal of Elohim, mm -hmm. but not according to knowledge. Let's see that not according to knowledge. What happened? For they, not knowing the Sadat of Elohim and seeking to establish their own, have not submitted themselves to the Sadak of Elohim. Oh, let's stop. So we said that. That's, that's tight. For they not knowing the Sadak, which the Sadak would be for justice, just, or him being just. And can we see what just means as far as uh, English? And then maybe from there? I'm thinking maybe we're going into almost in a judgmental type statement or meaning. That's what I'm thinking. Just. Okay, based on or behaving according to what is, see here we got these problems right here. There, there's more. We don't know. Based on or behaving according to what is right or fair, so that's 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 that can be proven. So let me ask you a question. Hands. Situation that we can find to uh, kind of illustrate that. Okay, here we go. All right, I want the right answer before I get Chris. Who got the right answer? I know it, but we can't let women answer. I know you got it, though. I see it. Who we got? Right answer. That's it. Discuss among yourselves. Oh, hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Who heard what I said I want? Right on. Why care is that? I got one. What did that mean? He said, I got one. That, that, that's why that check up there. Sit care. I thought you weren't going to do nothing else. You said, you supposed to say, I have the answer, not I have, I have one. I mean, I have one, so so when he said I'm wrong, well, let me use my other one. So, now, I got Ryan, that's a good chair. That, I, I, that's, a, that's, that's a two. We're going to try to create. Hold on. Y'all know who I rank y'all now. Oh, huh. I'm the only one on that suicide. I know they did. They went and put him in the bathroom. They heard me ask, who got it? They said, not tonight. They're not doing it. They done, they done, they done duct tape that man to the toilet. All right. Now, Austin had a hand up first. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Chris had a hand up first. Then we had, who was up next? Cooking. Hold on for, oh, Dwayne had a hand up. That's time. Now, let the audience vote. What y'all think, audience? Oh, hold on. Hold on. We got Marsha Lee Jerry back now. Yeah. Hold on. That's all right. That man been recovering back up and everything. 
You ever been healed all up? He probably got the right wrong answer. The wrong, not, not the right, I mean the right answer. Not the, oh, all right, what's that right? Whoa. Not on him and John, that disgusted out and everything. John, John said, you throw your membership out. <laughs> and, 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 uh, oh, this tight out him. Jahi, you ain't jumping out. Jahi's shaking his head. You ain't jumping out. Oh, we got in and now. Goodness. Let's see what happened over him. Now, we got two I want to hear in. You know you who we get you now. Got Jerry and Dwayne here. We tight. We about no crib. What y'all think of crib? Right answer, wrong answer? Right. All right, let's do that. Do that crib. Close your eyes so we don't have no hard feeling. <laughs> they look at the eye. Now, how many of y'all say Chris going to get the wrong answer? God, that tight. That pressure. All right, now. They ain't got nothing. Else. He said, oh, yeah. Now y'all know we got to go with Chris now, right? So we got to we gotta know, right? Now let's look at the question again. <clears throat> see that? They, you know, it's based on according to being right or fair. All right, let's see. Let's go back to look at what he said, how we get here. So y'all can assess your answer again. <clears throat> For they not knowing the Sadat of Elohim and seeking to establish their own have not submitted themselves to the Sadat of the right or wrong judgment of Elohim. Y'all understand the question? Now, see how you, you see people change now. <clears throat> now, where do people want to answer their question again? Where the hands at? <laughs> now, let me say two dropped out. See, when you go back over the question, uh oh, oh, Carrie back in now. Carrie, I want your answer so bad. I want to put another check up down. I'm like, I'm, I got more bite blood out of my lip. I want to put a check up there so bad. So, now, now, so we got to go with Chris because a lot of folk voted. Chris, you got to close your eyes. Let's see again. How many of y'all say you're going to get it wrong? All uh, right, you know I'm with you. All right, I'm with you, Chris. We ready. You ready, Chris? Yes, sir. Here we go. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. All right, right answer. Here it go, Chris. Let it go, Chris. Yeah, who Bam! There we go. Wrong answer. I told you every time. Yeah. Give yourselves a hand clap. With it. <laughs> Woo! Uh, see, he was moving too fast. See, Jared went back. He did it right. He said, hold on for a minute now. Because sometimes, you know what happens when folk talk, you saying, you hear, you say, let me jump in here, and you might have forgot what the question was. We said, hold on for a minute. Not that one. All right, let's go. Now, who else we had that was out there right now? Oh, in. Hold on. Let's try in for a moment. You still in it? Yes, sir. Oh, 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 we got hump in the hall. Now, hump, we got to go to hump next. Then we come back. All right, all right, here going. Uh oh, here come in. Okay, hey, he's sitting up too. He's leaning forward. <laughs> now, now, go ahead. You can lean forward. That's it. They help you concentrate better. You ready? <laughs> He leaned forward, he's serious with that thing. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and give him that answer, Ian. Who? Benima Yashraw. That's the whole book! <laughs> <laughs> that man said, Benima Yashraw. And we need a situation. But he was in the spirit, it, it was moving. That thing, it was bounce. You know how it was bounce. Chris had it, you got it, win. Now we got Hump. Y'all gonna let Hump lose? Man, that's bad. I see somebody shaking their head and say, oh my goodness. Hump, look at that. Y'all, y'all gonna mess around and Hump gonna be right. Oh, hold on, we got a caution. Man, that's a lot y'all gonna get past though. It's some folk gonna come out. The wet work. I ain't used to this. All right, here we go. He got a hump in the hot. Y'all ready? For everybody remember, let's do this. This is hypothetical. Let's say, no, 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 I want to. <laughs> then he walked out. He said, no, I'm not doing that. It's hypothetical. No, no, let's just say, just say hype. This we're gonna get your answer. Just say now. They needed their answer right here to save them. Right now, because your name supposed to translate to like Savior. <laughs> ain't that right? The, the English Joshua supposed to be in it, supposed to be, ain't it Savior or something? All right, salvation, Savior. Let's see. Nigga, I see somebody got a match, start burning stuff, say, we go, go. All right, you ready? Here you go, let's go. Bam! Y'all go ahead and pour gas on them. <laughs> no, no. Woo! That tight. Who we going with now? Okay. All right, let go. Now, now he might mess around here and shock y'all. Let's do this. I want you to close your eyes. How many of y'all say Kasha going to shock y'all with the right answer? Yeah. Oh, it's a false. Okay. Oh, it's a, Kasha saw my hand. I better go ahead and just. All right, come on, Kasha. You, it's a false. They believe in you, Kasha. It's out there. All right. Who? Hold on. Say it louder. Bam. Show them. Go ahead, here. Adam and Kaua. <laughs> Did you just get here? <laughs> there is Adam and Kaua over there. 
All the folks that believe in them, I want y'all to get your name up there and put it. Liam, put that name in there and put a check by it. Mine too. I know better than that. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. Go ahead, Lee. Put our name up there. Put mine up there. Put a check by mine. I know better than that. But I believe I said this is it. All right. Hold on. Let, let me say this. Huh, here you go. Let me say this. Yeah. Now, who, now who, don't try that. Don't come Smitty. Her name up there. Try to ease out. Yeah, get that name up there and put that check up there. We know better than that. Good as a mom. I want to say that I want to say Boston. Was Boston better? Did Boston like here? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you had your hand up. Oh, you had your hand. You believe? Make sure you get that check. Go get that. Good, it was a lot. Of, I hope you came with it. Man, y'all look, y'all up here for a confession. Bring the mic up here. Goodness, man, like a confession line up here, don't it? All right, we go. Yes, yeah, here now. Oh, look at Prince. Talking about Smitty in there too. Oh, Smith and Jermaine dressed her like, y'all might be twins. Separated at birth. Yeah. About 30 years. So now, see, we need to know who is somebody we ain't seen in a long time. I know Ryan had a hand. Oh, hold on. We got to do this. This Ernie. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that Ernie. Look at that. She believes in that Ernie. Ernie, you got to get this right, Ernie. Look at that Ernie. Ernie, she's so proud of you right now coming through that wrong door. That's what I'm talking about. No, 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 you right now. You good, mister. Come on. Let's, hold on, hold on. Right, let's, take, let's take a breather. We're going to do this. Listen, this is the million dollar question. What situation are we going to use to better understand what we read? We, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, turn around the other way. First, the other way. First. Now, how many of y'all? Now, how many of y'all? You can't be looking around. Need to go dry. She look around like, who? All right. Who's saying he gonna get it wrong? Hand. That tight. All right, we'll see now. We're gonna look and see. All right, don't try to change up later now. Let's see. All right, Ernie. Y'all ready? Hold on, Webber. Y'all ready? Oh, y'all can see. Hold on, the fade away. How about y'all out there? How many of y'all say he can get it wrong? What that chimp? What you think, chimp? Wrong, right or wrong? All right, they're going to earn it. That's it. Second time, the hole started blazing. All right, we hardly get the gas. Y'all in trouble. All right, here we go. There you go. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Come on. I was thinking of Shaul. Shaul. Tell me about Shaul. Well, if I'm not mistaken, he was. What are you laughing at? Well, <laughs> well, no, no, no. Go ahead. What happened? No. No, what happened? You said you were thinking. No, uh, I think it was the book of maybe Shaul. 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 He's talking about, you talking about in uh, second Shamuwa, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, hold on. <laughs> we ain't got but one wrong. <laughs> you know, why you didn't get that answer? Come on, yeah, that's it, uh, yeah, Beth Shopatine, 15, and he supposed to win up, they supposed to kill Agog, and everybody with him. No, no, you said Shopatine. He kept the choke, he kept the one that he should have utterly destroyed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> huh? It's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the gas. No, no, no. No, 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 no that was a good, that's a, a good attempt. That's good. Y'all all right. Bray, we got your answer. Okay, here we go now. We narrowing it down. Oh, hold on. For the second time. Oh, for, oh, boss, you saying you got it. Oh my goodness, he said for the sake of time. Y'all hear that? For the sake of time, y'all would do that one. He said, Yeah, all I fast on him. All right, but tell him what situation. He said, For the sake of time. You know what I should have had? I should have had him wrote it down and counted it to y'all team. That way they couldn't change him. Okay, it's a false Huh? If we get it right, we get all the wins ever. Hold on. Hold on. Was Ray in a group with you or separate? No, me and Ray were in the same group. We didn't talk about it. Y'all was in the same group. Boss was in a group back there. No, I wasn't with Ray. You're right. He was separate. He was in a different group. Let's do this. 
let's do this. Save time. I'm trying to just save it. This, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it. I want to see who would have got You remember the group you were with now? Who he was with you? Don't you go over there. No, 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 no. You can't go. No, no. You can't go over there. I want to see what that's up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Y'all just put it in the thread. That way I can I'll find out right now so I can move on. Oh, yeah. No, no. I want you. Yeah, your, your, your name will come up. Put it in because I'm finna put that up now. But I don't want that when I put it. That's the one right there. How, how many of y'all know they're going to pull that? I thought the one he had me out. That was, my, that was really my first answer. Who's going to be saying that? Somebody I want to put in the thread. Mm -hmm. How I'm going to change it? Put it and don't try to take it out either. All right, hold on, hold on. So, hold on for me. Oh, you know what I'm doing? Hold, hold on. I got to do this today. Hold on. No, no, no. I, I, no, no. Don't put it. Don't put it. Don't do it. I already know how they're going to work out. Do this. Oh, you did? All right, well, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Well, you good. Go ahead. Everybody put your answer down. Who got it? Now, you put it in the thread. I'm going to go ahead and move on. So I can go ahead. Go put it in there before I get ready to move. I'm give y'all five, five more seconds. Put your answer in there. And we'll check. Oh, what you got, Alex? Hold on. I'm, you got an answer. Okay, Alex got an answer. Go ahead. Yeah, while he get an answer, y'all put it in the thread. Everybody, have your own answer now. Go ahead. Who, who, who been teaching you? Who, 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 who been teaching you? He said the real huh? All right, so listen. <clears throat> Let, let's, let's, let's back up for a second. We'll go back to one. I'm going to come down to three. Then I'll take you and I'll show you all how I process it. And I process it when I read it, okay? So I'll show you how to process the system, how, how I looked at it, okay? Let's look at that. I'm sure it's other ways. I'm telling you, I came the will of my law, where they put desire, indeed, of a true, and my palau, I'm asking, Allahim is for them unto Yeshua. Why am I asking for Yeshua for them? Who knows? Give me a Why? Because they ain't have it. I can't be asking for salvation if they had it. I'm asking because they don't have it. Okay, let's, let's go with it. Why am I asking for food for people that's already got food? You'll be asking for people that don't have it. So you're asking for people that don't have it. This is Yasharal. Listen why. Listen what he's saying. <clears throat> for I bear them witness that they have a zeal of Allahim, but not according to the range of information. So he's telling you why to effect. He's not just asking. He's saying there's some reverence to there's some some relevance to why. You know what I'm saying? There's some things that they display. Cause I could want, I can go around and say, you know what? My heart desire is for alcoholics that they might be saved. For they better in child molester, an alcoholic, drunk child molester, a sadomasochism that he might be saved. For I bet him rucking he have a zeal. Would that make sense? Why? Because nothing he's doing even is in the is even in the realm of salvation. It makes no like people. Going, I'm just going out praying for people to get salvation. No, he's letting you know why. Who is he asking for? This is for Yashara. This is already, he told you, this is my son. So it all makes sense to ask for it for them. Y'all got it. On top of the fact, I'm telling you, they have some relevance. They have something that's significant that ties into them connected to obtaining it. You got it. It ain't just, you can't just want salvation. I'm just asking salvation. You have to do something conducive to salvation. You guys are here. Do all you, don't have to, do all you have it? Because you have to start displaying some things. You'll get, don't think people taught us like, well, you want just ask him. He on the main line, tell him what you want. See, these are good songs that make you feel. It doesn't work that way. This is Yashara, his son. And he said his son is not saved. But he's going through telling you the man has some things that are right, but it's not according to not. Some of the things he do that he displays are in the rim. Y'all got are in the in, in somewhat of the criteria, but it's not all that he doesn't have all the information. And then he's going to tell you why. Listen, listen. Verse, for they not knowing. So it makes sense. He's telling you. It would make sense to say, because they know. It don't make sense. He's telling you they have a zeal, but not now. They didn't say they know. No, they don't know. They're not knowing the Sadat. They don't understand the just. What's just the right and wrong with Allahim? And then, so that left them to seek and establish what? Their own. Their own and have not submitted themselves to the Sadat of Allahim. That makes sense. Now, answer. How about that? I processed it when I read it. Y'all read it? I see it smiling. You got an answer? No, no. <laughs> Who in here know the answer right? That's what I'm talking about. Here's a man not afraid to fail. <laughs> no, no, no. Not just messing. He might be, all right, here's the answer. Y'all ready for it? How many of y'all ready for the answer? 
Let's talk for a minute. Now, Mr. <laughs> All right. Why are y'all standing at me like that? How many know what the first letter start with? Yes. Wow. I'm on the wrong side. It start with an S? What is it? Borrow sheep. There, Sham Wall. Twelve and one. None of them had it. <clears throat> That's why you pay me. Y'all have been guessing all day. Let's see how it works. Well, let's do this now. Let's say this now. Now, just because I wrote that don't mean the way I process it, it could be right. <laughs> you heard that, Buster? Y'all heard that, Justin? Justin. I, I mean, Buster. You good, Buster? Hey, man, just insult him, man. I said, just because I wrote that don't mean I could be right. He said, That's right. <laughs> no, nah, you, you was in the spirit, right? Now, nah. let's say this um, Beth Shemwal chapter 12. We'll read down. Let's, show, let's look at something. How about that? So we, our, our goal is to how we, pro, but let me say this. Don't, don't be amazed. I'm going to look at things a little different sometimes than how you might look at it. But let's see when you see the answer. You can see how I think and how, how, how I pick up things. Because as I'm reading, you know, I might hit something and say, okay, this makes sense. It's got to make sense to me. Look, you're talking about somebody, the man told Pharaoh, he said, that's my son. Who wouldn't say this son? Let me get this straight. Anybody got a kid in him? Look here. I'm just using her. Even though we're using a female. Yeah. Tommy. in. She drowned. That's your child, right? So adopted this child. You found someone? That's your child. She drowned. What you do? Sit down and just look. What you do? Let's go get her and save her. So he talking about, he, he said he didn't, they not saved. He said, that's my son. I need, to, I need to kind of figure what's going on here and see what situation is. Why, why, what happened here? Y'all got what I'm saying? Because I tell you, as a Christian, I, read, I, read, I ain't paying no whole attention to that. You know, brother, my heart is out of Yashara for Yashara that they might be saved. I bet on record. And that's how we read and we, and we read and we going. I understand. I'm thinking I understand what you're saying. I'm not thinking about the relevance of looking at what I need to compare this against. Because then he's telling me something I really didn't look at at the same time. He's saying they have a trait. That's how you say in Azir, they got a trait. You know what I'm saying? They have a characteristic. But he said, but it ain't according to knowledge, though. You know what I'm saying? Some people can have something. It's some people have an uh, ideal about some things, but they don't have the proper teaching of it to really understand it. It's some people just naturally know how to do carpentry, but they don't understand the rules and regulations of how it works. You say, I can see you do have a zeal about it, but you don't have all the information. You see what I'm saying? There's other people that have like some skills about it. You're right. You don't really know the game. You know how to shoot, I can see, but you don't really know. People, man, I know how to shoot. That's not basketball, the game, because you know how to shoot. You know, that's part of it. Am I correct? It's rules, other stuff. You know, but, I, but I'm a good shooter. I know how to shoot. That doesn't mean you really know the game. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody even draft you, put you on the team. Okay? We'll get on here. Second, um, Beth, Shamuwal, they're called Second Samuel. 12 and 1, please. That's how that work out. So we read from this side, the Greek translated, supposed to the English. Listen. And Yahuwah shalak Nathan the Nabi to Daoud, and he went in to him. I'm sorry, Olive. For, hold on for a minute. No, I'm sorry. Malachim, Olive, Malachim, 12 and 1. First Kings, 12 and 1. Yes. <clears throat> now, did y'all hear that answer? Oh, okay. Well, it's in the text thread. Ain't it? See that? Good deal. All right, y'all got it now. If it don't came out of the time, y'all be watching. All right, listen. And Malak Robum goes to Zekima. For all Yashra were coming to Sikama to make him a lock. Listen. But but 
Yeroboam, the Ben of Nebat, who was yet in Misraim, a fugitive from the Pani of Malak Shalama, Shama of his moot, returned out of Misraim. Mm -hmm. And the Om spoke to Malak Rehoboam, saying, <coughs> Thy Abba made our yoke heavy. See that? Listen what happened. Mm hmm. Listen. But do thou now. But do thou now lighten somewhat of the hard service of thy Abba and of his heavy yoke which he put upon us, and we will serve thee. Shaka. Shakani, Adore thee. And he said to them, Depart for three Yamim and return to me. And they departed. Mm hmm. And the Malak referred to the Zakanim who stood before Shalom his Abba while he was yet Kai, saying, who, How do ye advise that I should answer this on? Mm -hmm. And they spoke to him, saying, If thou wilt this Yum be a, a bod to this arm, and wilt serve them, and wilt speak to them to Dabarim, then will they be thy Abedim continually. Mm -hmm. But he for forsook the counsel of the old Anashim, yeah. which they gave him, mm -hmm. and consulted with the young Anashim who were brought up with him, mm -hmm. who stood in his pani. Listen. And he said to them, What counsel do you give? And what shall I answer to this arm who speak to me, saying, Lighten somewhat of the yoke which thy <coughs> Abba has put upon us. Mm -hmm. And the young Anashim who had been brought up with him, who stood before his pani, spoke to him, saying, Thus shalt thou say to this arm who hath spoken to thee, mm -hmm. saying, Thy Abba made our yoke heavy, and do thou now lighten it from off us. Mm -hmm. Thus shalt, shalt say to them, My little, my little thicker than my <coughs> Abba loin. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And whereas my Abba did lay you with a heavy yoke, I also will add to your yoke, my Abba chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with <coughs> scorpions. Mm -hmm. And all Yasharal came to Malak Rehoboam. Who? who is it? Who? And all Yasharal came to Malak Rehoboam on the third yum, as the Malak spoke to them, saying, Do what? Return to me on the third yum. And they did what he told them. So that's a zeal. They had a sense to do it. They didn't come back on the fourth day, did they? Did they come back two days? Mm -hmm. He told them when he told them to come back. There you. And what did he, when did they come back? They got a zeal. Listen. And the Malak answered the arm harshly, and Rehoboam forsook the counsel of the old Anashim, which they counseled him. Mm -hmm. And he spoke to them according to the counsel of the young Anashim, yeah. saying, My Abba made your yoke heavy, and I will add to your yoke. My Abba chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. Mm -hmm. And the Malak Shama not to the arm, because the change was from Yahuwah. You said what happened to the people now? And the Malak Shama not to the arm, <coughs> because and the change was right. from Yahuwah. And the Malak hearken not to the people, because the change came from who? Yahuwah. Hmm. What happened? That he might establish his debar, which he spoke by Akiah the Sel Selenite, concerning Yeroboam, the Ben of Nebat. What happened? And all Yasharal saw that you the saying Yehuda did what? And all Yasharal saw that the Malak did not shama to them. And what did they do? And the arm um, answered the Malak, saying, "What portion have we in Daud? And what happened? Neither have we any inheritance in the being of <coughs> Ye Yeshi. Yashi, depart, O Yasharal, to thy tents. Now feed thine own bed, Daud. Let's see. Let's go back now to the third, to the tenth chapter of the Book of Romans, verse three. <clears throat> well, I'll do one. Come down. Y'all tell me if it makes sense to you. How about that? Ten and one, Romans. What a reason he had us stuck over here for a minute. A king, the will of my Lord, indeed, and my palau to Elohim is for them unto Yeshua. Yes. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal so he told them to come back through there. They can say, man, bum, I ain't got time. They don't tell what I want to hear now, I'm gone. They came back. They, he, said, he told them to come back through there. What did they do? This is a sign of obedience. They didn't come back three and a half days. 
He said they came back. He told them three days. They came back in three days. They let hit him along. Why wouldn't I come back? He told me to do something. But not according to. That's right. For they not knowing. Hold third verse. For they not knowing the Sadak of Allahim. They didn't know that Allah he had already told your robe of him that he was going to establish and give him ten of the ten of the mata. They didn't know that. He just told you they were ignorant. Let me, let me tell you something for a second, okay? You think it made sense that they knew that was from Allah he, that they were going to turn around and walk off? Nobody told them. You learn, we learned about it from reading. He said the change was from me. He was going to go with what the, what the old men told him. <clears throat> But he changed it. You think Allahim told them to change it for me and they walked off? No. They had a zeal. That's why they came back. But they didn't know. So guess what they did? You see to it. We're going to do our own thing. You ain't going to believe it. That's been your problem. We had a zeal. But we didn't have the information to understand this doubt that it was going to be just what he was doing. That's what you do when you don't know. You're going to establish your own. There's no reason for me to submit myself. If I don't see the way, it don't make sense to me, then what I got to do? And it'll be, but guess what? It could be, I just don't know what his sadak is. Okay. Let's see. 6, 44, the book of, did that make sense? You say you had that, did that make sense though, y'all? Huh? Okay, team two. Now, who is team two? Who on team two? Oh, the champ. Okay, okay, I hear that team too. What team you on, boss? Team, who all on team one? He got the right answer too? Who are, oh. Oh, good. He said, what, hold on, I'm, I ain't look. What the team two answer one? Oh, he did? No, he did. Uh-oh, he uh -oh, ready to fight. Care a lot. Yeah, listen, listen. He said, He said, you're born my who? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he'll go that I got it right here, Preacher. You got it right there. Oh, it's in now. We got to get it. Say you got some money. Boss got it. Boss got it right. But for everybody, does it make sense when you start looking at Because you got to think about it. You got to look at where you find that Yasharal did it. Because uh, just because Shahu stated something, and you could take it and you say, okay, well, I believe it. He said it. But that's not how you're supposed to believe it. Amani. You're supposed to Amani as the Sefer has said, the scriptures. The Kitab have said it, right? Those are the writings. So we had to go back through the writings to verify. Y'all got to remember this. Anybody can say something, anything. So when it comes down to it, how he validates himself is, go back and look and see that it happened. That's all he said. Go back and just, and just see that it happened. So when you say, man, it don't make sense. I mean, why he wouldn't save Yashra? They went through all that with him, and he wouldn't even save him. Well, I can tell you why. Because they were ignorant. They didn't know, and not knowing, they went and set their own stuff up. And they did not submit themselves because had they submitted the leadership, they'd have sat there and said, we'll take it. As hard as it was, as strict as it was, they were supposed to follow leadership. He set somebody over and they were already been taught. That's who you're supposed to sit down. That's who you're supposed to follow. But when they saw their own way and because we don't, I, I'll be honest with you, I ain't see it. That's your problem. Now you got to ask yourself why you didn't see it. You got what I'm saying? And give me the teacher now. You ain't going to believe what we wanted to come to saying. How we post to halal? By Amunah, not by sight. Abraham didn't leave there by sight. He left there by Amunah. They didn't see it. That's why they left. See what I'm saying? And, now, and when we look at that and we look at their mistakes, we go back because we're trying to make sure we don't be guilty of the same thing. It's hard. It's hard to see. It's hard to see some of the things he tells us to do, especially when other things come in at you. You get something come at you, just think about how we're looking at it. Okay, we lost one. Okay, we lost Dow, we done lost, we lost um, Shalom. We knew he was the seed he set up, he placed over. And, and, and right with a disarray, although Robaham, the son, the Ben of Shalom is him, he not him. And we followed, and it was already hard on us. And then you say it's going to get harder? I ain't in here for that. I ain't come here for that. I'm out. So now, they had a zeal, but now he come in and let you know they didn't have the information. And you can look at how something that critical, like they did what any of us would do. They didn't do nothing. No, I'm not going to criticize. I'd be the last one. How, how many, what do you do when you don't know? It's dangerous when you know when you do it.
but that's just a matter of him allowing you to know. We're, we only know in the front of right, and he said, the change came from me. That would have made the whole difference. Now you got to ask yourself, was it my intent on, in order to fulfill what it was or complete? Let's go with Tommy. In order to complete what he said, it had to happen this way. Had they seen it, they wouldn't have left. Then what he told Rovahan would have never happened. Let's back, back up. See that the 11th chapter of the book? Let's see. How about that we back up? Aleph, Mal, Akim, the 11th chapter. We are familiar with how Shalom fell. The book said he had hard many strange women. All the one we were told not to get. That's how he fell. Okay? Even Nakum Yah came back talking about Jump down, probably about the 11th verse. 12. Let's see what, uh, I think they give it a name different. They had a, a, a Kaya. I think it's like, I forgot the name, but let's see. It'll be later. You'll find out why he was in exile. I told you he was in Mizraim in exile. Solomon didn't like him. The writer declared he didn't like him. He didn't like you, uh, your robe arm. He didn't like you. I didn't know that. He didn't care for him. They say he saw he was industrious. He had a real difference with him. So it made sense why he was in exile. He used to be over the military. But he wasn't, too, he wasn't a fan of him. So he was in exile. Let's see what happened. Am I down far enough? Mm. Let's go. Let's see. Let's start 11 11. Listen. And Yahuwah said to Solomon, because it has been thus. We said Solomon? I think it means Solomon. Come on. Because it had been thus with thee, and thou hast not kept my Amar and, and my ordinances, which I Amar thee, I will surely rend thy Malkuth. Now, what is rend? Tear? He was going to tear. Listen, he said, because you hadn't hearkened. You didn't listen. So now we listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Now I'm going to rent. I'm going to tear it from you out of your hands. Listen. And give it to thy Abad. See, now I'm going to give it to your Abedin, give it to one of your, one of your servants. Listen. Only in thy Yamim I will not do it for Daoud, thy Abba's sake. You see that? For the sake. See, all this. See, even when he came with chest time, he looked at I can't do it that way. Because I told him that his men were going to set over Yasharal. So if I rent and tear it now, they're going to start to think they won't have an understanding and realize that's not who I was talking about. See, that even though he set it up this way, it was still with perplexity. So a lot of people looked at Shalomah as probably who? <laughs> Yehoshua. Because it was going to come from the house and from the lawns of Daoud. So if you go and rent it from now, somebody's going to get confused and get thrown and felt like, he couldn't do what he said, but he let him know. I'm going to rent it because you didn't keep my Amar. Some other people would have caught and realized that couldn't be him. The each the Allah he ain't going to call to come from Daoud, going to keep all this statue of ritual. He, he told him what to do. He could have been, but it's not possible because of the flesh. He let him know if he halak. All the day he had halak in it. He couldn't do it all his days. See, that's the problem we got. That was, that's why we needed somebody to come in and get us to perfection. To show us how to get this thing right. Okay? So now he let him know. And this is how it happened. Because you wouldn't keep it. Because you walked away. Now I'm going to tear it from your hand. Yet I won't do it in the days while you kai. Listen. I will take it out of the hand of thy bend. Listen. See that? He already, look now. Nothing, nothing threw it. But he let him know I'm going to do it. I'm going to take it from your son. You think Yashra knew this? No, they didn't know this. This is what he's telling Shalom. That I'm going to take it out. I'm going to rent it. Tear it from you. And I'm going to take it out of the hand of your son. I ain't going to do it while you're living. Come on. Only I will not take away the whole Maku. Uh -oh. I will give it. I will give one Mata to thy being for Daoud, my Abad's sake. Y'all already know who that is, ain't it? That's Yehuda. He let him know. Because it say, he said, I'm going to let him keep one. And see, people don't know how that had to happen. He had to do that way. That way, Yashara wouldn't magnify himself against us. Y'all didn't even realize that. You were taught that in the book of Zechariah. He told you that Daoud was going to be his Alahim. He ta I taught y'all in the 12th chapter of the book of Zechariah. He told you how to, about the tribe, uh, what he was going to do to the Matar Yehuda. He said that Yashra don't magnify themselves again. When he went to, let me ask you something, when he went to Pharaoh, he told him to let my being Yehuda go. Yashra. So you going to try to explain to Yashra how you going to excel them? We know all the tribes, so everybody looking, Yehuda. And we were told this. Our, our great father, our great Abba, Yaakov already told her. He told him, Yehuda, he said, thou are here whom your Akim were going, they were going to halak you. They were going to call you. They're going to adore you. 
Let's say he's going to set us a barber. He let them know, they're going to, listen, they're going to tahalim you. They're going to praise you. Matter of fact, Yehuda is celebrate. People celebrate it. Okay. Let's see. Come on. And for the sake of Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen. Listen. And Yahuwah cum up an enemy to Shalema, oh. Adur, the Adamin, and Isram, being of Eliada, Eliada, who in Rama, Adizar, Malak of uh, Suba, his master, and Anashim gathered to him, and he was head of the conspiracy, and he seized on Damascus. How many of y'all know what Damascus at? That's in Syria. It may belong, most of Syria belong to Yasharal. If he sees Damascus, they teach you at Damascus that Damascus is in Syria, so like it belonged to the Muslims. It did not. It belonged to us. Yehuda had it. Yehuda lost it. You know who reclaimed it for us? Yasharal. And we lost it again. Damascus belonged. Matter of fact, that's what Shaul was when he fell off his, when he fell off his beast. He was headed to Damascus. We have synagogues there. You watch the news today, they show you. They show you Syria, Damascus. It's a Muslim town. What y'all think your oppressor going to show you? I don't need you going no farther than you. All you're supposed to know is Jerusalem. I don't know where people get it from. Our border spreads further than that. He just told they seized Damascus. So who did Damascus belong to? If it belonged to the Muslim, it wouldn't have had nothing to do with us. It had something to do with you because you actually had Damascus. You had Aleppo, the same place that these people blowing up there with that fight, and the United States is still in Syria right now fighting. Yeah. And the city they fighting in, Aleppo was Daoud City. You don't even find any right in here to tell you that. They have a different name. Daoud actually had a city right there. Aleppo was his city. Can you imagine that? Now, now imagine Daoud dwelt in Jerusalem, yet he had a city, Aleppo. They call Aleppo. That was Daoud City. Shalomah had a city that they blowed up over there too. It was a treasure city. It was an oasis that in the desert. In Syria, all this is in Syria. So now you gotta ask yourself, did it really belong to the Syrians or did it belong to you? Now what do you think the historian's gonna teach you? Okay, don't worry about it. That's what they want you to, come on, finish up. And they were adversaries to Yasharal, all the Yamim of Sh Shalomah and Adar, the Adumin of the seed royal in Adumia. Mm -hmm. And it happened that while Daoud was utterly destroying Adum, while Jacob, captain of the, of the Yoab. Yoab, captain of the Saboth, was going to bury the moot when they slew every male in Aduma, Adumia. Uh -huh. For Joab and all Yasharal abode there six Yarek in Adumea until, uh, until he utterly destroyed every male in Adumea. Mm -hmm. That Adar ran away, he and all the Adumeans of the Abadim of his Abba with him. And they went into Mizraim and Adar a little Yalid. Mm -hmm. And there come up Anashim out of the Stop. sea. Stop. Hands. Comparison to who? Hands. Okay, yeah, I missed it. One person got it. Put in the three, I don't believe you. So, so he finna put it in the three. You put it in now? Right now. Then Ian gonna tell us who it is. Unless he got a phone, he gonna put it in now. How to watch Jahi, he'll go back and try to erase it. Tell him who you gonna say. He said Yahushua. Who did you say? Y'all missed it. When a dog went over there, he was a little child. He went in Miss Raim. So were Yahushua. All right. Them Bible studies at home. <laughs> it's a photo time. Man, what you gonna be doing later? I'm gonna come on in. We just gonna talk to him. Uh -huh. That's good. Listen. And they are cooled up on a shame out of the city of. Madiam, and they come to Faran and take Anashim with them and come to Faro, Malak of Mizraim. Mm -hmm. And Adar went in to Faro, and he gave him a beth and appointed him provision. And Adar found great favor 
in the sight of Pharaoh, and he gave him his Asha Akuth in marriage. So stop. The, Hand. Mimicking who? I can put in the thread. That's what I believe. It don't take that long. You don't put it in there. Young already came up. Don't put it in now. They want to answer now. Come on, keep going. The elder sister of Thek Mina and the Akuth of Thek Mina bore to him to Adur Ganibath, her being, and Thek Mina brought him up in the midst of the Banim of Pharaoh. And I hadn't finished yet. Can't finish. And Tim, but they're rolling that. And Ganiboth was in the midst of the Benim of Pharaoh. And Adar, Shammah, and Mizraim that Daoud slept with his Aboth. Hold on, stop us at home. That meant they were dead. Y'all not going to do that. Not him. <laughs> we're not doing that. Daoud slept with that man? No. <laughs> he, he learned he was dead. He was moot. You know what I'm saying? You don't clear this stuff up. it will be a whole nother homosexual congregation going to blow it up somewhere. <laughs> All right. You got the answer now? Yeah, that take a long time. I'm talking, you got it now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, they looking bad, because he's like looking around like you changing the letters. Everybody got the same answer. Everybody the same answer. Oh, self -addiction. Self -addiction. Oh, self -addiction. Kerry got the wrong answer. Uh, all right, we're going to find out the answer. Y'all put them down. We're going to see. Y'all try to snap them. Do not let them get away. I know these jokers in here. There's some, there's some rogues in here. What you got, Ian? Tell them again. Say it loud. They can't hear you. Good. <laughs> so that I can't get everything right, can it? You know, somebody just tell you, yeah, yeah, call that Bible stud out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who y'all should have had? Y'all should have had Yosef. Okay, yeah, that's who went and Miss Raheem. He gave him favor, gave him a house of provision, gave him a wife. Y'all picking up similarities. That's how y'all picking up similarities. Come on. In that Yoab, the captain of the Shabbat, was moot, and Adar said to Pharaoh, let me go and I will return to my country. And Pharaoh said to Adar, What lackest thou with me? That, lo, thou seekest to depart to thy country. And Adar said to him, By all means, let me go. All right. Put it down. Who he mimicking? Hands. Hold on. I want, I want it in the thread. Y'all ain't got long. Let's start typing. <laughs> Anything come after I gave the answer, y'all disregard it. How many of y'all don't know who it mimicking? Don't know. See, these, these the honey folk. So everybody here, so they know. That type. How many of y'all don't know? Okay. All the, everybody done put the answer in there? Have y'all put y'all answer? Has everybody put the answers in the thread? You say still looking. Because I ain't done it. All right. And you got another wrong answer. I'm just telling you. All right, we done put them in yet? The answer don't count now. Answer coming. Tell them who it is, Ian. Tell them who? I can't hear you. Yasharal. Who? Yasharal and Mizraim. No, it's going to be your cold when he left Laban. Remember, Pharaoh want to know where he lacked. Remember when y'all remember when your cold was down and he told him how he longed to go back to his father. He kept longing to go back to his father's house. So that's not when y'all watching, y'all just gotta kind of watch things that kind of show you some certain things consistency so you can see that other people had similarities. Okay? Come on. That's all. Come on. I'm reading it with y'all. Come on. Allahim Al also come up against him, an adversary. Razan, the being of Eliada, who had fled from his... Oh, stop a second. You read right here? Yes, sir. The only problem about it, the Greeks said they omitted that text, yeah. that verse. They omit, I'm curious now why they omitted it. They, they wrote something. I don't know why they omitted it. So they jumped down from 23, 24 to 25? That's what they did. They omitted 23, 24, and that's that, 25? Okay, so they omitted that. The Greeks omitted it. So we can look at both, but just know there's a reason why it had to be omitted. Okay? Yes, sir. I'm just putting that. So what, what did you just do? He read that, 23. So we'll read this. We'll look at 24 where it picked up at. 
just kind of familiarize ourselves on both ends. But apparently, from what they're saying, that they, they omitted that text. Okay. Hello? Come on, read. Yeah, okay, come on, I'm waiting for you. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Allahim also come up against him an adversary, Razan, the being of Eliada, who had fled from his master, Adar Razar, the Malak of Soba. Mm -hmm. And he gathered Anashim against him, and he became a captain of robbers when Daoud slew them of Soba. And they went to Damascus and dwelt there, and they made him. Let's roll up. Malak of Damascus. Okay. So Adar returned to his country. This the mischief which Adar did, and he was a bitter enemy of Yasharal, and he reigned in the land of Adom. How many of y'all don't know what Adom is? Adom. Who don't know? Hands, hands. Okay, it's going to be Mount Siar. Siar. This is going to be Esau. This is going to be his end. It's called Adom. They're called the Edom. It's actually Adam. Remember, he has the same similarity. He was a red man, just like Adam was. Hello? He also was the elder. Look at your similarities. Yahushua was a red man. You know why? He was also the elder. <clears throat> well, Daoud had the reddish face, but he wasn't the elder. Okay. All right, come on. And Yeroboam, the being of Nabat, the Ephrathite of Saria, the being of a widow, Abad of Shaluma. Shalama. Shalama. And this, the occasion of his lifting up hands against Malak Shalama. So now it's telling you the time when this happened, because he used occasion as a favorable time. Come on. Now Malak Shalama built the citadel. He completed the fortification of the city of Daoud, his Abba. Mm hmm. In the east, Yeroboam was very strong. And? Shalomah saw the young east that he was active, and he set him over the levees of the Beth of Yosef. Mm -hmm. Which would make sense because he came from Aphareem. They put an Ephraim. That would make sense. Aphareem was one of the grandsons of... Yaakov. Uh, was the son of Yosef. Yosef. I said grandson. Okay, he was the son of Yosef, so it makes sense he would put him over his house because he was from the same tribe of Yosef, okay? I mean from the same tribe of Yafarim, so it made sense that he would sit Yeroboam over that bed, okay? All right, come on. And it came to pass at that time that Yeroboam went forth from Jerusalem, and Achaia, the Selenite, the Nabi, found him in the Darak, and? caused him to turn aside out of the Darak. Mm -hmm. And Achaia was clad with a new garment, and the two alone in the field. Mm -hmm. And Achaia laid hold of his new garment that was upon him and tore it 12 pieces. Mm -hmm. And he said to Jeroboam, take to thyself 10 pieces, for thus saith Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharal, behold, I rend the Malkuth out of the, out of the hand of Shalomah, and will give thee ten mata. Mm -hmm. Yet he shall have two mata for my Abad Daoud's sake, and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen out of the mata of Yasharal. Mm -hmm. Because he forsook me and sacrificed to Astari, Ast, Astarte, the abomination of the Sidonians, Sidonians and the and to Chismos, and to the idols of Moab, and to their Malak, the abomination of the Benim of Ammon, and Hehalak, not in my Darak, to do that which is Darakim, Sadiq. Darakim, plural. To do, uh -huh. Darakim, to do that which is Sadiq before me, as Daoud his Abba. Mm -hmm. Howbeit, I will not take the whole Malkuth out of, the, out of his hand, for I will certainly resist him Resist him all the yamim of his kai, for Daoud my Abad's sake, whom I have chosen. Mm -hmm. But I will take the Malkuth out of the hand of his being, and give thee ten matah. Now, now, okay. So now, this is what I want y'all to consider. We had to read a little bit, y'all need to know what happened. So the reason why you need to know what happened, you know he told you where those two was when this happened? Where they were? What did he tell you that was significant? 
So how would you know about it? How would I know that me, us turning and walking away meant he was going to get, we were going to fall in his hands? I couldn't have known that because I wasn't there. They were just those two in the field alone. See, when he told you when the whole situation, controversy came up, they were walking off, they couldn't have known it. When he knew they made a change, but to tell you that all of him made a change, he was going to go with the counsel of the old man. That's why he said he forsook it. Because that's the way I was going to go. And nobody knew why he forsook it. Because Yahuwah said, this change was for me. Because I gave a man my word that he was going to get 10 of them. And had Yasharal stayed there and submitted themselves, then that would have made me a liar. So I kept my word with Dawood. I kept my word with Shalom. And I kept my word that you're a born. And I let you know that what happened with Yasharal was that they were ignorant. They didn't know. This is now all that is to make us. We, I don't know why. I've been, I don't know why I keep staying with that 10th chapter of the book of Rama. I appreciate it. They said, this thing from me. It's to let us know and consider. And I, I, I honestly, I palau to him about things because I don't want to not know and it be a detriment. Something like that is critical. This was critical. This, this, this is based on people's lives, them not knowing. So when people say, well, I mean, you know, the critic say, yeah, I mean, you ain't got, I mean, he don't expect you to know everything. It's critical because now you got to look at that. What transpired for them after that? A lot of things happened. They wound up falling away and serving other Allahim, other Allahims. These people went off and got out of the way. People, people moved for, for years. And now here we are in a situation where our fathers, our Abba fathers, have had this and lost it, recovered and lost it. Long period of time we've gone now without it. And now he bringing us back into sitting down to say, consider. Consider how people that could be called by my shim could get off. And I used them for the sake of them falling away to fulfill and to keep my debar to somebody else. What he intended to do, he's going to do. It doesn't matter what you try to anticipate in yourself to do. It, it's to all our benefit to really sit down and take inventory of self and just make sure we get this thing right. No doubt, you know, it works out for the way, but it ain't for everybody to recover. Just like when he brought all Yasharal out. He left people in the, in the Bamart bar for 40 years. He said, and they saw my words. He said, because they wanted to mind me for 40 years struggle. I lived 54 years. I can't afford 40 years to be around here, going around. Bound. How many of y'all got 40 years you got you can wait to kind of go around? That, I'm, and that's to, that's to come up with nothing. That's to come up with nothing for 40 years. And then to find out that whole, at the end of it, I was greed with you. But he told them that. But it wasn't nothing that they didn't know. He told them. In, uh, in the book of Bamat Bar. That's the book in the wilderness that it was about. He told them about this. Should it be on the 14th chapter, I think it was. He said, none of them. He said, none of these people are going to do it. He said, not one of them going to enter into it. So he left them for, it's the 13th chapter. He left them there to struggle and go, and he let them know about it. So they said, surely he don't do nothing. So he make it because he revealed it to them that you're going to say him 40 years. And then I think, maybe he forgot, maybe. It looked like I'm starting to like I could see. You couldn't see, because I told you how long you're going to be here. 40 years, and you're going to see my word. And let you know I will agree with you. And when I was in my rail, and I shabba that you'll never enter into the Mount Cool. Don't you know we can't afford to be a people, to be sitting here and that man say, I want y'all to go this long and struggle out, and you ain't going to get in. It's just like, really, why, why keep going? It ain't going to get in. But put in your mind, keep trying. You're not getting in. Then he shortened time for some others. 40 days, he told him, he's going to destroy none of them. 40 days. That man made everybody fast, even the animals and babies. Don't breastfeed nothing. Don't give them no animal nothing. Allahim repented. What do you do with Allahim like that? I can hold something against you, my kid, for 40 years. None of them repented. Before 40 days, and he spared the city. What you do with Allahim? And get what happened. I don't go along with it because you'll be ignorant of his Sadat and you are going to try to establish your own. 
They ain't getting no better when they when they broke off. It ain't like they went out and they started serving them. The people went out and they built two and they put the one in Dan. Dan means judgment. Judge. They judged and put and put a golden calf there. That's what you came up with? That was your Sadiq. That's what they said. And they put the other in the house of Allahim. So we got one in the house of Allahim. We got one where we judge at. How are we going to come up with salvation with this? And you ain't going to tell. He said, this thing was kata. He said, this thing was sin. This was sin. How many of y'all not familiar when they did this? Okay, good. Everybody know. You don't know? So everybody know when they did it? I said, that's about that her book. She shook her head. She said, yep, I got the book right here. That's what I'm talking about. So, so in saying that, and when we go back and we look at it, I mean, you, as bad as things might not be to your liking, as much as you might desire some things, these people would have took your situation knowing what you know now. They'd be glad to swap at you for your situation. Because we, everything we're getting to do is we're getting to go back over somebody else's mistakes. That's how we're doing. Like a coach, when he go over film, I made it hard. I can see what you, I can't tell you what you've done before that play. After the play over, I can tell you how you missed him. Because guess why? This is, look, I can stop, stop, stop. Can we get ready to play? We're on the line. We're going to go, stop. <laughs> this real time moving. This real time moving. How do we get through? We're going to get the film. I want to play the film. So watch that right here. Watch, this right here, Mr. Block. That's what happened. Everybody, ah, because we going back over film that's already been done. So he already know what he's looking for. He's already looked at the film. He looked, he watched what we done. He going back over the film and see who missed. That's it. Who didn't cut? Who? What happened with coverage? What happened? Everything, then you can go back over and show people and see what you've done wrong. That's all we're doing. We're going back over film. We're going back over the game, look at, wow, that's how they lost. Does it make sense to play the game the way they played it? That's all I'm saying. It don't make sense. And, that, and, and the fact, he gave us this opportunity. So sometimes now you look at when correction and thing comes, is it, you know, so much he hates you or destroy you, or is you need to really just understand how he works? He got a purpose. You ain't the only person that got something to keep. He done told this man something he got to keep with him. So a lot of times we might look at things and always want things to go to our quote unquote favor, but Allahim has a plan. He said, and whom he chasing? Wow. So look at that. Let's get there. Had they stayed and took it. I don't I'm chasing because I harbor you. And I scourge every one of them that I receive. So it's to your benefit. But then, you know, what they're going to teach them as well. When they get out here and watch the failure and watch how they mess up and you come back and learn, when they go back over and realize, this thing was an Allahim. Next time I'll be a little more slower to speak. Next time I'll be a little more slower to speak. I'll take my time and say, well, let's, see how, let's see what he got in store for me. Right. Yeah, I mean, but they did what any one of us would have done. One, probably one of them would man, shut your mouth. You sound like a stupid fool. Say, so, yeah, down right now, I'm going to kill him today. I mean, I mean, you just, I mean, we're getting to go back over other people's mistakes. Now we look at their mistakes really benefited us. It benefited I know not to do that. <laughs> I know to, okay, Mr. Don't wait, because he's doing something. He said, this thing for me. So they gave him opportunity. Now you got to go back and look at said, I didn't know that. I, but who won them? I said, I, I knew it from him. I, would, I never would have done it. I just wait to saw the outcome of it, but that's because we creatures of habit. We want him to talk to us direct so we'll know. But he wants us to come back and do something to everybody. They had to, the, the call came down and the sound came down on them, the voice that they called. It came down on them. They heard it and they still got an error. So now is it just us hearing it or getting to a fact that it has to get down in the inner side and get to the inner parts of us where it get to the convicting part? There's something inside of us that there, we have a conviction part of us. And if the, the bar don't get that, you ain't going to make no change. It ain't. There's no reason for you to stop lying, stop committing adultery, stop homing, stop lusting, stop messing. Not until you get convicted. Okay, on the day of Ukok Shabur, when he said, now when they heard this, and said unto Cuff and to the rest of the uh, Shalakim, yeah, that's right, they asked for it. They want to know that. They want to know what shall we do. And then he said what? And do what? And be murdered. How many? Why they didn't get a murder before he told them all that? I ain't know. I didn't. Why would I? 
They, ain't no doubt somebody probably seen folk getting it, but I mean, that's them. I mean, whatever they, I mean, that's what they believe. But after he talked with them, he explained to them, then guess what they realized? I feel bad. I feel bad I didn't know that. I feel really bad. I want to get this thing right. Because the word hit somewhere deeper. See, it's going in the end and come back out. It got to get in here to register to the brain, to the brain and get it to the heart, and then get a conviction to it and realize, I got to change. I got to make change. If you don't ever get that, you ain't going to never get right. That's just being honest. You ain't going to ever get right. And you're going to do just like they did. You're going to go, like for help left him, and establish their own. And it because they won't submit. I don't like the way they do it. Wait and see how they work it out. Just like him, think about it. who went. Now, you already, you know, how many of y'all like whipping when you got them? I'm going to whoop you harder than that. However, how many of y'all got a B? I'm talking about a B. How about, listen, that's going to like that look like they just tapped you on the hand with a, with a leaf. How bad I'm going to beat you. Who finna stay here for that? Nobody. But then you start to learn this thing from him. If it's him and him operate, it got to work to my tube. That's something to read, but he told to him, he already, already, he already knew. I know how y'all are. I know you're a people you won't take no correction. I know you're a people you're going to run from it. And you're going to allow me to fulfill what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you, you should have waited. Okay. I'm just telling you, it, it's easy to get off now. You can be in and still be out. Okay? Yes, sir. Let's go at that 10th chapter. I'm trying to let y'all go. I said they gone on me. I don't want y'all to hold y'all too long. Or oh, someone been gone. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, just got paid Friday night, party jumping. I know it. We got what we left off at four. All we want to do is get understanding. I don't want, yeah, that's all I want. I just want to understand it. Because I want to, pee. if I understand it, I got it. I know what I got to do. But if I don't understand it, I don't know what I got to do. Then you're going to leave me to my own devices. And they're going to put you right back where we've been. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be off. All you got is a zeal. It ain't enough. Zeal just not enough. Because if zeal enough to say, he said, they got it. You'll have it. You'll be for it. You're using name. You're using, you know what I'm saying, carry you in, certain things, symbolism. Them zeals. Where your knowledge? Knowing. That's a, that's a major difference. All right, this 10 and, what we about 10 and 4? Y'all get ready and get your money. I'm trying to, y'all going to get out here early tonight. Maybe. I know they fuck. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get y'all fed. Let's sit in. Let's sit in. Come on. For the end of the Torah is Mashiach unto Sadat to every one that among. Mm-hmm. Verse, verse of conclusion. You can use in. But see, this is, this is what we get. Hold on, Batman. Hold on. That was, that was, hold on. What you just read? Four, verse four. Five, I'm uh -huh. sorry. No, four. For the end. I'm sorry, four. Oh, for the end of the. Torah, for Sadiq to everyone that among the Mashiach, the end for the end of the Torah is the Mashiach unto Sadiq to everyone that among. So this is this is what's right. That's the purpose of him coming. So when you see end of that automatically put us to an end of, of having some mindset thinking, whew, man, we ain't under the law. I'm glad Jesus came and died, got us from under the law. No, he delivered us with what we would call the curse of the Torah. And you ain't going to believe it. Only people look at it as a curse that the people can't do it. How many of y'all had a slinky? How many of y'all knew how to make that slinky walk? Slinky was stupid. What you conclude with me and the slinky? The stupidest thing I've ever seen. It was stupid. It didn't make no sense. I do that thing, put that stupid thing, I just got and just throw it over. We get in the stretch, and I was sick of it. I said the thing don't even work. And then, man, that for that thing, walk slim. on that commercial, all I want to do the water, I ain't had no, and then what made me, man, we ain't had no step. I throw it down some steps, my I was like, because on the commercial, that, 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 the slink, and then the music, I want the music. I want the other little white kid, let the thing go down the step. The white kid, all the stuff work for the white kid. You know, and then walk all pretty, put on the floor. Yeah, they ain't do all this. Too long. They put the thing like they just lay on the ground. Things just start. Slinky, a slinky. They told you it was fun. It was for boys and the girl. I they fool you, but anyway. So when people don't understand it or they can't live up to the expectations of it, 
it looks stupid to them. It looks dumb. It looks futile. It looks like it really don't have a relevance. So they're glad that, quote, unquote, Christ came and Christ did away with the law, which makes no sense. All he told you was he was the conclusion, which makes sense when he was on the tooth before he moved. What did he say? It's complete. That's all he told because he just told he was the conclusion. This is the conclusion. You ain't going to believe what the book told you in the 13th chapter of the book of Kahalaw. Here's the conclusion of the whole matter. You see that? What, you, what would you supposed to do? And guess what they did when they heard the, when they heard the, the Amar in the 20th chapter of Allah Shemut, they called Exodus. Guess what the people did when they heard it? You ain't going to believe it. That was the conclusion. So you're supposed to hear the conclusion. That's why we're supposed to hear Yahushua. Hear the conclusion of what? Whole matter. That was, this is what we did. We did it right here. And what, well, you know, go ask your about the great matter. That's all we're doing. We, that's all we're doing. Here's the conclusion of the whole matter. That's what we're supposed to do. Yara, Allahim. And keep, what was this? This was his obligation. So why would he tell me that? And yet you tell me Christ done did away with it. That's a waste of time. If I'm going to keep you finna get rid of it, it don't make sense. There has to be some symbolism. There has to be some type of knowledge to it that it, it, it evolves to something. And it did. It was getting us to understand, because listen, that end was just, he tried to show them, when I let you break off, guess what they did? I let you do and handle for yourself. And you messed that up. You made a mess. You made a mess. Sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to, oh, you know, how can you do this? Do? You say, you know what, go, go on out there and try it. I'm going to try it. Man, let me tell you something. Ain't no way my mom could have been a better a parent than me when I was a child. There's no way they could have been no better parent when I was a child. A child need french fry for breakfast. Them folks are going there and cook some junk. They ain't for no kid. You need, man, I'll come on. If they were good parents like I would have been when I was a child, I'd have had Big Macs. Yes, them, fr them fried up and Coca-Cola every day. They want to cook a meal and collard green as a bad parent. Terrible parent. Go to sleep, you got to get up in the morning. No. Stay up till you get tired and fall asleep. Don't even worry about school. That's good parenting. Because you say that until you get to a point you realize that's terrible. Just terrible. It's just terrible. Everything been sweet. Man, everything been sugared. Syrup and jelly messed up everything. Ice cream for dinner. You know, they, they, they got to do some sweet meal and then go eat some ice cream with it. What a been dead. So as a child, when you're viewing and you make a decision, that, those are your decisions as a child. You get a little child. Get one. So go in there and just get dressed. Why would they come out with you and say, where you going with that? They be like, and take a picture and say, I want to show you a decision making. They go, they be like, you let me. Say, I didn't let you do nothing. I want to show you that's how you rationalize stuff. Man, I had a picture one time, I know that picture gun. Man, I had that, you bought that, that thing, I had that tie. That thing was cricket. My head was so nappy. My teeth was so, I said, that picture, I said, you let me win this school nigga like that? I don't know why the, they should have took a picture I got the bus. They let you play, then holler, school picture. It like they, it like these folks literally make you like a fool. How many of y'all know, that picture was hard. Listen, this jacket was the most horrible jacket in the world. I don't know, you must have went to the most horrible jacket store in the world and bought it. It was a mustard-like color. Boy, I sure looked it good. I looked so important on that thing, though. So as a child, you know, back then, you thinking, man, my hair come. You get you saying, what the world? You let me out the house like this? <laughs> hey, y'all seen it? How many of y'all got pictures like that? You look, you thinking, it, no, it's no. You should have came and died and broke the camera. But yeah, I'm saying, but as, a, but, but as a child, when you seen it, Man, he was on point. And that's what he looked at with Yashra. The only way to get Yashra to see themselves, you need to go out there and try it for yourself. You need to get yourself out there. You need to hit a fall. You need to get to an end. Then you'll come back, you'll be more humble. You'll be more submissive too. Because a lot of times people won't. Why are you tainted? Because you're not considering. Because you're second guessing something. So second guessing look like, okay, I'm guessing behind the work versus if you actually see, he does things in a way to where it makes everybody kind of consider where we at and how we do things. Even me, maybe, look, let me know, you got to slow down and consider too. You can't just assume and you just can't take off the do. Because you could be out there on your own now. And it's good to keep that contact and keep that way and make sure I don't want to get too far.
When I had a song one time, the man that there when you caught, I don't want to I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go too far. Isn't that right? And so we all work to make sure we're going back to look at things to make sure we got to understand it that we know. Because he said they didn't know. And not knowing hurt them badly. Hurt them to a point that's still affecting them. Y'all should all been cast off all this time. So this ain't like something. Like you can talk about the 400 years of Mizraim. It's been longer than 400 years since, since y'all should all been off. Y'all should all been, this, I mean, I mean, Yahushua been gone longer than 400 years. And he told them, don't go to nobody but Yasharal. And Yasharal still ain't recovering himself. Because you know what? Yasharal still in the state of, I know what I'm doing. I ain't stupid. I don't need anybody to tell me everything. And that'll hurt you. And that's some of the stubbornness that we'll have. And so it's important for us to go back and we read and we see these things. We need to sometimes set ourselves in the state of considering, that, that, that was me. Or that is me. I ain't going to take no correction. I ain't, I'm not going to do it. Let me show you one that I try to let you go. See that Safinya? See three and one right quick. They're called it Zephaniah. Let's see what he said. How about that? Go ask Yehuda about this great matter. Huh, man, when are you going to come out with one by yourself? <laughs> he tell me you got one. That man, I got he about how Rudy World had that one loop. He said, I got to be that thing kept loop. That thing just going back over. He let it play about five minutes. He thought that was a beat. That guy listened. He listened. He said, Rudy, this is a loop. It's a loop. He says, it's not set. It's not changing, Rudy. It's just a loop. He said, I'm working on it. No, this is a loop. You been, how long you been working on it? He said, about five years. Five years since you been on a loop? And how it goes? So everybody jump out there in that arena. Well, I'm trying to make beats. Who in there trying to make beats now? You know what I mean? You think you're working on making beat? I used to make it. Oh, you made beat? Hold on for a stop. <laughs> then we have a meeting about people doing stuff we don't know about. So you one of them. You made why you ain't saying that? How many of y'all know this? Can't say he made beats. He said he, he been making beat. That was a beat. Oh, that's all I said. That's all I said, boss. Yeah, somebody uh, raced that game up there. Oh, he said, he said, he said, he said, I have the ability to. That's different now. He ain't made now. He said, he knows what you're doing. Yeah, he don't write. Yeah, you tell what I'm doing. Next time, do you, um, is it a dance to go with it? Make one with a dance. You know, I'm trying to start back. Yeah, why y'all, why don't y'all? That's all that. Who do? He said in your head. You just stood up. You arguing back. I knew you were going to do something else, Karen. Karen, bro, straight out. No, I don't. He said, Karen, in your head. Make up that check in your head before you go up there. Karen, I thought you weren't going to get no more check here. <laughs> All right, well, now what was that? Yeah, soften y'all through it. I thought I had, I would ask y'all something else. So he gonna be, you gonna make some beat. Marsha D. Jerry, you told us you made beat? I know, he told, he told you that? Oh, some of them knew that, okay. He trying to clear it up, he said, I'm so glad them brother pulled me out right there. <laughs> I saw it, look at him thinking, no, I ain't Oh yeah, yeah, Pastor Dexter. Yeah, Minister Dexter, he got to work back up. He got to get the apostleship back. <laughs> Ivan made beat. No, where's Ivan at? Do you know Ivan made beat? She said he learning. He learning. Yeah, he learning. Ivan made beat. Ivan, you made beat. He said that. I was saying he said he made the dot eyes. <laughs> All right, let's see there. This soften y'all three and one. Listen there. Listen. Alas, the, glor the glorious and ransom city, the dove shama not to the coal. Y'all hear that? This is what she did. She received not correction. Whoa, what she do? 
She trusted not in Yahuwah. This is what she did. And she drew not near to her Elohim. Hands. Tell me what, what you done connected. Hands. All right, just in thinking. What y'all do, y'all put it in there. It's something that'll make sense. And y'all know it. I wanted to text thread. Think about it. Listen to what she did. The dove. Listen to what she did. The dove hearkened not to the voice. It don't call it now. It don't call it the voice. It said she obeyed not. It said the dove hearkened not to the call, the sound. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Yahuwah. And she drew not near to her Allahim. Hands. No, I want a hand, but I want a, I want a thread. That way I can. That way I can. Oh, you ain't got your own? Oh, okay. Who gonna put it in now? That tight. Princess got it in there? I didn't know. That look tight. She said, I know more than all these niggas. You put yours in that hump? Two ounces. That's what I'm talking about. How many ounces y'all think I want in there? You think, what you think he's gonna say? That's the one I put in there. So I know that slick stuff. I need one answer. Based on what y'all been taught. Listen, and y'all been taught it. Ryan, you thinking? You gonna put an answer now? Now what we're gonna look at the teams on that too now. What team, whoever, what team they on too, is gonna have the winning. You put an answer now? Oh, you know what she does. Yeah. What 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 the nigga gonna when I get she'll say? Care? Oh, they got an answer now? That's what I'm like. Don't be going trying to pick nobody up. They, you know what they looking at? Oh, they pretty much know. They be talking about, let me put the same thing in there. How many of y'all dirty like that? Oh, thank you. I had to say he like that. Yeah, I'm like that. That's, see, he honest. So y'all put answers in now? People put answers in now? How many people answer? Six. Six some answer. It's tight. Seven. Okay, still going. Y'all through answering? I know at home got Roger, you put an answer now. Did you put one on any of them? You thinking? Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Pastor Eric, you been putting an answer now? Your team needs you. Booger, you put an answer before I give him an answer. Are you putting one? That's how you do it. That way you can't be wrong. Who are just I hope you ain't fake text and say once he get it, I'm gonna say that's the answer. Oh, have you answered? No. So you read the answer. Did that give? I mean, by you reading the answer, that, okay. Canada. No, let's see what he got. Okay, y'all hear what he said? Who put that in now? I, I'm I'm asking everybody through typing. Let's see. He said he thought Vashti. Y'all remember Vashti? How many don't remember Vashti? When the Malak. Uh, all the Xerxes, he called for, he uh, called for. Which one is it? <laughs> no, I, no. I'm going to learn. So that's, that could be an answer now. I said, that's a good one. No, well, I don't think it's more or less a person. It's not a person. I tell you that it's not a person. It was just something y'all should have picked up and it makes sense. Okay? Based off of this, I'm just saying, you put it all together. Hearken not to the call. She received not correction. She, she did not trust not in Yahuwah. And she drew not near to her Elohim. You type an answer now? I'm just checking. Show the total, I mean, uh, Chanel told me, all y'all wrong. This is the right answer. <laughs> all right, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's talk for a minute. Yeah, Uka 9, 644. It ties in what she did over there, too. But I just want y'all to pick up. This, it just makes sense for someone when you look at what she did. Listen, 6 and 44. Listen to what he told you. No east can come to me. Except what happened? The Abba, which has sent me, draw him. So he said that she drew not to her Allahim. So why didn't she come? All right, he ain't drunk, cause they ain't in trouble. That man should come. I, I just meet you on the street. You I mean, can you hold my wallet? You stupid? Why would I give you my wallet? I don't even know you. So it all makes sense. This is, this is what he's trying to tell you. No each could come to me except the Abba would set me drawn. Then I'll cool him up in the last year. Listen to what happened. 
it is Katab in the Nabaeen. So that is written in the Nabaeen. Then what happened? Hmm? Oh, well. And they shall all be Lamed of Allahim. See that? Shown, taught, and instructed. How can you come? You don't even know. They didn't know. Why would I trust you if I don't know you? It makes no sense to trust. How many of y'all go on the street trusting strangers? Why you don't trust them? They just told you they wouldn't, they wouldn't draw. I'm not, I don't know you. Why would I come? It don't make sense. I'm not going to come. I don't know you. I don't trust you. So when you start looking at what she did, why, why would it, who going to let somebody on the street come on? I know you don't know me, but just trust me. I'm finna correct you for your own good. You're like, you don't get out of my effing face. What you talking about? You better put your, I don't know you. You can try to explain to me. Listen, I know you don't know me, but you need to trust me like they did in the Bible. What you finna do is get shot. Because I don't know you. Unless you can identify yourself, unless you can say things that I'm familiar with, you know what I'm saying? And give a speech that I understand, then you can't expect me to do what you told me. Hello? So when you start looking at them, that's, these are the things we have to look at. So he dealt with her as a feminine. He looked at all these things you start looking at, Yasharal. All this came down, he told you. When you look at these people right here, these people here no. Look at he told you right quick. Yes, Yahoo. And I'm trying to let y'all go. Yes, Yahoo. See if that's one and one. They call Isaiah. <clears throat> yes, Yahoo, one and one. Listen what he told you. Listen. The Kazum which Yeshayahu, the Ben of Amus, Amus saw, which he saw against Yehuda and against Jerusalem. Is, the, 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 he was the son of burden. Y'all hear that? Listen, hold on a second. Now he tell you, amazing, he's identifying, the, this is the Kazum, this is the vision that Yeshayahu saw. All right? This is what he saw. And he, forever he wanted to let you know he was the son of Amus. Amus means burden, burdensome. You remember when they came to um, Rehoboam? You remember what he told him he was going to do? He was going to make their burdens heavy. Y'all remember he told him that? He said, I'm going to make your burdens even heavier. And you know what they did? What did they do? They walked, no. You ain't going to believe what Husha said when he came. He said, my burdens are light. Who you think was going to attract to him? People had heavy burdens. See, when they came to Rehoboam, the bend of Shalom, who was the bend of Daoud, they knew that Daoud was supposed to have a bend, who was supposed to lighten the load for him. This is how they're going to identify him. See, my burdens are easy. He said, my burden light. My yoke is easy. He told me, the yoke I'm going to put in going to be so hard. Your burden's going to be over. I'm going to overlay you. He said, see, but with me, my yoke is easy and my burden's light. This was designed to draw Yasharal. That's why we're in the, that's why we're in the condition we're in. You listen because you think you're okay. You don't realize what condition they was in. He was sent to heal them. That's what he came to do. They were broken heart. What you think? You came here thinking, man, I'm so, I'm so glad that bastard dead, man. I mean, think I'm so not caught with how you look. If somebody hurt you, somebody was affecting you. I mean, that, that, I'm glad the bastard dead. I'm glad. And now I'm looking for things to get better. And you come find out, no, it's getting worse. So now he come on the scene and said, listen. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's what I want to hear. I've been looking at I've been out here doing things my own way, and I, and I saw it don't work out. This is the man I've been looking for. That's what, so when people saw him, they saw that man how, years ago. How you to sell, I'm telling you, I, I, used, I, used, I used to lie about having gas so I could get an Alka-Seltzer and Rolaid. In the 70s, them the commercial. They put that, th that thing fall in that water. That glass, that thing, shh. I'm like, hey, I need an Alka-Seltzer. Come on, get an alka That's like grown folk stuff. You get scared to see it bubbling, you like. And then wrote, how do you spell relief? R-O-L-A-I-D, that's how I don't spell it. They would show, wrote them folk be workers on the street. Oh, they be hurt. They be like, man, you need what they be like. They be like, I need a Rolaid. How do you spell relief? R-O-L-A-I-D. you like, man, I got I got get, I need a Rolaid. And I want to think, because, I mean, they sold you on it. Because they will show you people who've been in these situations where they feel so sick, they be down, cold, fumbling 44, night quit. <sighs> they go to the, I always go to the medicine care. Oh, what's wrong, honey? I need some. 
and they take night quick. Then they land in bed and sleep like this. And I said, you're like, wow, take night and sleep. He's like, man, I got I said, I got a cold. I need some night quill. I mean, it did. It played because you looked at it was all the stuff they would say you what to relieve you. You got what I'm saying? And so people looked at when Yahushua come to see, I've been looking for this. I've been looking. It's been hard on me. It's been hard pressed. You know what I'm saying? I've been on the outside. You know what I'm saying? I had known, and this is why it makes sense when he came down, he was teaching people. He was learning. He knew this has been your problem. You just had known. You'd be surprised how much information change people's behavior. That, that, this is the thing he using, not only to draw those of us, whether you are by nature, Yasharal, but to draw us from the rockney part of it. Because once we all taught, we all going to come in, we're going to announce, this the same thing, we're going to announce the same thing. He realized that everybody going to speak the same thing. That there was going to be no division among us. There was a division among us. Why y'all think one Mata stayed? Right. It was a division. Right. Why, why Yehuda didn't walk off? Yehuda saw that, man, it, I mean, I mean, we, where, where, just like, they saw it just like when it, you know what they did? They saw it just like uh, Covenant, they said, uh, where the shall we go? You know, Yahushua said stuff. He had 84 Talmudim with him. So you know who he was symbolism? To who? Who? Go, go put a check up right <laughs> Roll over him. What did you talk? <laughs> get in line. Come, come, come. My brother Jack out. Come, come, come. My brother Jack out. Come, come, come. Come on. Come on. Come on. I get, I get, Woo, buddy. Ron had a good time. He had a random joke was off. I mean, y'all get, get in the line and put your hand. That was in the spirit, brother. You, like you said, Rohan, when you bad off of it. Think about it. Think about this, though. We didn't look at it that way. When Rohan, when, when Yahushua talked to them, he had 84 Talmudim. Okay? 72 of them walked off. He looked at Covenant and he asked them where they going to go. They said, where shall we go? Say so you had the debar of a long Cain. And look, that you had the word of eternal life, which let me understand why Yehuda stayed. Think of why they walk off. If they walked out, they should have walked out too. But, but they looked at where we going. This our Kai. So you can get where there has to be some in your law. And that's what we're trying to obtain. We want to get that thing in our law to where that we don't make no offense against the man. That's how I want to be where it's not an offense. Y'all got it? That's all we're trying to do. My all is just, that's all my all is just, a, a, we talk about the Kataim and the Maal. The Maal is an offense. Y'all got it? Like something people say, that's offensive to me. Who got that? He said, that's offensive. Y'all got it? Something he looked at, he said, you missed the Maal. And we're trying to get to where I don't want to offend him and I don't want to miss the Maal or he established for us. And the only way to get there is to make sure we taught. But in being taught, we got to understand the people that came before him. These ain't no, these people here, um, there's symbolism for us. Symbolism on people that kept a relationship with them to watch and people that violated a relationship. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to be the people that violated a relationship. All of those people that had a complete understanding of Yahushua being here on the scene, it's the fact that now we're getting to go back and look at why you couldn't, why you didn't stay. Why you couldn't do it. It wasn't you were stupid, you just hard. It's the same way I am. I just didn't know. A lot of stuff we just didn't know. It's a lot of stuff you, man, them people so stupid. Man, I've been better. You'd have did even worse than them. Because yeah. now we start looking at this whole thing is determined by him that he give you favor. You know, people don't really think that by having favor. It gives you an advantage. When he asks you what advantage does the Yahudi, he said in every way. Because anybody want to make sure know it's going to be them. They're the only people that if something happened to them, even if it's, even if it's bad, I'm going to make it work out for them too. Look at Yosef. Everything happened to him was bad. Look how it worked out for it too. Isn't that right? They didn't have a song. Gonna, you, I can't lose for the stuff I use. They couldn't lose. Even without correction, it's going to work out for our too. Isn't that right? And we have our mind set on what we actually here for. Make sure we get it right. Make sure we get understanding. I don't want to run and get, because I'm telling you, you can run and go so far and have your own way that when the correction comes to put you in the right path, you're too far in the way you've been going. You can't change now. You out there. I'm telling you, it happened. Pride. He told you it'll come just before it fall. So there's so many things like walking in humility. For me, every one of us, it's just things you have to change. Then they put the word, I just put them down like that. That's what I got to do. 
That end, because I don't want people to think, you know, that's the focus of what we're doing. The focus of what we're doing is make sure we get this thing right. Nobody need to lose. At the end of the day, everybody need to get it. We need to lock down low and get this thing right above all. Anything we find, we can find out we can't control them. Let's just move away from it. Ain't no steeping, struggling. Right? We done did all that stuff. I'll put on the line, your life on the line. Don't y'all know they came out there, even with um, Nakum y'all, he made them people attach their life to it. Them folks had to put themselves on a, a, they had to put themselves on a vow. That if they moved away, that's the only way they were going to keep it. They had to make them a vow that they moved away from it. They didn't want to be cut off. Now, you were doing this at, not, I mean, not cut off, cut off. Like a little bit cut off. Now I'm finna get, them folk couldn't do that. What came out of their mouth? He told you to so say and do. You can't, we, that stuff we be putting now, that, you know, I'm going to remake and I'm going to try to, this time I'm finna try to get, he don't understand stuff like that. Those people were supposed to walk in and that's it. Without failure, without fault, that's it. He may came out the stuff that we'll do. They'd be like, you know, like he told us, even you look at now, you think about this. I would, I would, I would say that we have a better understanding of things than they would have had simply because we have more writings after a lot of those people came, okay? But with that being said, I could put you on another stress, enough stress that you could deny. Even me, I could do it. They didn't. Some of them people refused to have their dead raised up. They had offers of, I could raise them back up if you would stop believing you wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. There were people that were tortured. If I went and set some on fire room, I'm talking about burning hot, and I told you I'm going to throw in that room, you ain't denying. You finna deny. I am too. We're not finna do it. You can play that stuff you want to. That flame start blooming through there and coming at you. You finna say, I've been stopped believing. I just, man, that, that's, you, people can play them game they want to. Let me tell you, that's all your talk. Go home and tell, do that. Go home, cut that stone high. Do that right here for 20 seconds. And come talk to me in the morning. Show me that thing melted all up there in their hand. And I'm going to say, yeah, I know you're still going to do that, but just go ahead and try it. You ain't doing it. I'm just, it's so much, it ain't so much you can take. But, you know, we read a book. Them people had less understanding. Y'all know them people refused. They were tortured. They were cut asunder. Those people refused to do it. He took three Aubrey young men and he put them in a the fire. They didn't know, they said, listen, if he don't deliver, you think I'm finna say that for you throw me in the room? If he don't deliver, he better. That's what, that's the people we are, creatures that we are. We limited. We're very limited because we don't actually literally see him. We're, we're basing our stuff off of other sources, based off patterns of behavior, based off connections. You see what I'm saying? We had to put things together. With these people, they had conversation. Somebody comes straight from him saying, does say. They had no other interpretation. It's straight, direct. They had contact to sign him. Okay, they had him. They want to buck up against me. The whole room opened up and swallowed him down. What did these folks say? Yeah, I still got some doubts about this thing. Man, these folks here are true worshipers. You see the rise open up and swallow some folks up? I ain't with them niggas. <laughs> I don't know none of them. What you do, you see the all right, open up and swallow them folks up and close back up. We good. I'm toting the toy around everywhere I go. That was scared. Of, you think about what that do for you? You like, this thing just open up and swallow them people. Are you serious? What you got to do? So you got to look at these people and what they've gone through and what they saw from captivity. There were some people that were refusing to move. They weren't moving. Listen, no matter what you're doing, they weren't giving up. They weren't quit. Now, he done told her they going to get so tight on her. He said if he didn't cut the time short, he said nobody could be saved. How bad they going to get? I mean, if you really going, you can go in a fiery furnace and don't quit. And you tell me it's going to get so bad on me that if he don't cut it short, ain't nobody going to be saved. It can get worse than that. Okay. Y'all tell you how y'all want to do it. But you're going to fall away. A lot of people are going to fall away. <clears throat> That's why I got to get an understanding. I just need to know where I need to be. That's, I'm one of the people. I just need to know where I need to be. Y'all got it? Because we're going to get back. That's all I need to do. Put in your mind where you need to be. And a lot of times people don't. One thing, God ain't going to let you. That's Christian talk. Shut your mouth. He ain't going to let that. That man went up in that tooth and died all day long. That was it. Now, don't be no fool. A lot of, a lot of Sadiq people died. Horrible, cruel death. He said he had cruel markings. They had tried the whole nine. No weapon formed to get my people prosper. Not us as a whole, but you one person, you ain't the people. So you start quoting stuff, you better know what you're talking about now. He said, against my people, not as a whole. 
individually take you down. See, people be quoting stuff. I just be the wise. They don't know what they're talking about. You run in, you run in the spirit of Jesus. Straight arrow. Man, he's supposed to throw everything in the kitchen sink at you. Stop it. You just got to know where you need to be. Y'all got it? If you don't set your mind to be there, you're going to miss out. Y'all got it? All right. That's two. Appreciate it. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it.